fabulous Tim Wilson. Yes, sir. Good morning. Welcome. Hi. How are you? Well, the Bob and Tom show's right here. Christy Lee and the Hello. business casual look this morning. Very nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Job interview again. I keep trying. <laughs> uh, hang on, uh, Tom. I got something to say with Chris, to, to Christy. Take me with you. Okay. <laughs> There's Josh Arnold. Oh. He's at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. There's Ace Cosby. Yeah. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom. And uh, Well, hi. Uh, Willie G on assignment. Chicago is the place. Patty G on assignment. His apartment is the place. Um, actually, he's doing some road work today. Speaking of road work, did you yeah. guys see this? You ever uh, refer to going to the bathroom? A major transaction is I got to go do some paperwork. You ever do that? No. Oh, no, yeah. no. But the disgusting one that I yeah. can't stand is when someone goes, I've got to go drop the kids uh, at the pool. Oh, I love that one. Really? So you're referring uh. to your children as turds. <laughs> really? Uh, well, they're, 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 they're cute little turds, right? No, that's Lucky. the worst. Don't do that. I hate that. Next time, next time say, honey, I'm going to go uh, take care of some paperwork. See what she says. Yeah. To me, the greatest light of all time uh, is... Uh, <laughs> What's his name? Randy Quaid? Yeah. <laughs> I can't use the word of the radio, but he comes up. Hey, the room's full. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, or I got to Contextually, drop. that's as funny as it gets. How about I got to take the Browns to the Super Bowl? How about that? Uh, just why to just yeah, say, how about saying nothing? <laughs> how about saying, saying excuse, excuse me? Excuse me. Whatever happened, exactly right. I got to go powder my nose. Right. <laughs> you gonna powder it down there, baby? Have you uh, mm -hmm. have you ever lived with anyone, Josh, in a uh, relationship that yeah. serious? Uh huh. For did, how long? Did you find it was yourself about a, over two years, maybe? Did you find yourself saying, uh, oh, "I'm gonna go to the bathroom," or announcing what you're going to do to her? Or would you just get up and go to the bathroom? Both. Okay. It's, it kind of depended on now, the. Did you yeah. um, uh, put toilet paper down in the pit, or? Um, I put oh, oh, it's insinuating yes, you kept the yes. woman in a bit. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yep. I, I, yeah. I, I want her to be well wiped. Sure, of course sure. you do. <laughs> she's a dirty, nasty woman for starters. So yes. she's got to leave it in the bucket. Um, sorry, I don't I, see you announcing your. Uh, no, I uh, gentleman never discusses this sort of thing. Christy, I, do you insist on your poor husband to tell you what what he's going to be? Oh no, 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 no. We keep all that very secret. And you still contend your contention is that you've never argued. Mm -mm. Mm. And, we haven't. Oh, and I have an update. Oh, we'll, we'll put an end there, to that. I'm sorry. Thanks. Excuse me. What am I saying? A chick has an update coming up. Of, on what? Uh, I got to get it right. Is it um, trailer? Is that what they're calling the the couple? Oh, oh Travis, yeah, yeah, yeah. Travis Kelsey and Taylor and, and Swift. We'll get to this coming up. But they use they use that thing where they combine the yes. two words. Is that a portmanteau? Whatever. That no, is? it's a uh, uh, TMZ. <laughs> but the, the most famous Word one is, is, is Benifer. Sure. That's where it all started, I think, don't you? Yeah, but Taylor Swift and this guy. And then, so what's this? This is Travis Kelsey? Mm-hmm. So it's trailer? Travis and tra uh, Travis and Taylor. And Travis. there was the one um, back during World War II, uh, Brittler. Oh, my gosh. Ms. Braun and, and Adolf. It was not. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that didn't really. Braun and Hitler. Ugh. That was, didn't really take off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you're having fun. <laughs> Somebody emailed us yesterday and said, uh, well, Tom's would be uh, Kelly and Dick. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> but but you are, uh, Christy and, and Andrew is your, is your uh, or Andy is your yeah. husband. Are you sure it's not Anthony? It's Andy. Okay, so so you are, to your friends, they can now call you? Well, they call us Crandy. Crandy. When we're talking about couples, they'll yeah. go, hey, are Crandy in? So, you know. And I said it's... Lucky his name isn't Hunt. <laughs> yes. Be, uh, Crunt would be somewhat uh, <laughs> uh. disturbing. Uh, the reason I paused to Chick's fine introduction was, um, did you see this? Second show added. This is going to be, uh, we're doing our special uh, live show, our live broadcast from the North Star Mohican Casino Resort in Bowler, Wisconsin. Very excited about that. It'll be Friday morning, November 17th. Then that evening, a very special show featuring a number of the comedians who work here. Huh. And the uh, first show sold out. Yay. So we've added a second show. It'll be at 1030. Um, and it'll be it'll be featuring Mr. Godwin, uh, Joshy right there, Mr. Jeff Oske. Are we hearing from Jeff again today? Are we getting a, I a, a second so. second dose of news we failed to mention? Uh, Willie G and a couple of special guests. So uh, second show added. 
Information is uh, found at the North Star Mohegan Casino Resort or at bombandtom.com. Here is an email to go along with your announcement, Tom. Mm -hmm. uh, this is from Harmony to Dear Morning Time Family. Ah. Oh. I regret to announce that I had to cancel my trip to Bowler, Wisconsin to see all you guys because... Aww. My jerk of an ex-husband won't switch custody days because he knows how much I love all of you. Oh, oh that's a, he uh, is a jerk. Yeah, that's a bummer. Yeah. His name is Dave, <laughs> and it would make me so, so happy if Chick could call him a jerk on the air. No, I can't do Come that. Come on, I'm Dave. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really Dave, sorry. Dave, she might, what if she hooks up with Josh Ends up getting married, all of a sudden, all that support <laughs> Dave is sending her is, is over. Think of that. You could be best friends with John. Yeah. Turn it into a positive. How about that? Josh, are you <laughs> not necessarily available. I didn't just, mm, sorry. Uh, wait, maybe Ace. Oh, there you go. Are you going to Are you going to be there? Are we getting a jet? <laughs> are we, are we getting a jet? <laughs> uh, Harmony, <laughs> Harmony continues. I've been listening since I was a kid, and coming to see your show is, would have been a dream come true. I love you all, Harmony. Well, you got, you've got a, a couple months to negotiate this. You've got until November... Yeah. 17th, so see what you can do. Uh, can you give me the sports teaser? Love that song. Uh, the Cowboys defense uh, ain't what it was this morning. They've got some injuries. Uh, the San Francisco 49s <laughs> put the New York Giants away last night, uh, much as everyone suspected they would do. Just 10 days left in the Major League Baseball season, Tom. We're getting down to the uh, nitty and the gritty. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Is there a morning show called that somewhere? Nitty and gritty? God, I hope there, not. Yeah, there has to be. <laughs> the nitty and the it's gritty? It's just, just pathetic enough to be part of this whole and, thing. And uh, two-time Women's World Cup uh, winner, the women's national, che uh, national team, uh, Julie Ertz, has uh, retired. Played her final match for the United States. And remember, if Julie Ertz married a guy with the last name of Donut... She would be Julie Hurst. <laughs> Hurst Donut. Donut. Uh, one of the classic jokes. <laughs> you know that one, Christy? Oh, I know that one. What's the other one that goes with Hurt's Donut? That involves pinching. Um, hmm. A chair? A twister? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, yeah, the, oh, yeah, the titty twister. Uh, the, oh, can yeah. you say that? The, the purple nurple? With two Ds, yeah. Oh, okay. T-I-D-D. -D like the color. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we'll uh, touch on many of these subjects. And if you'd like to uh, get a hold of us, uh, any suggestions on how to do that, Josh? Eight, uh, eight, what the hell is it? 888-262-8661? Yeah, that's the text. There's people wonder why I don't call on Josh early in the show. And I always wonder why you do call on me early in the show. <laughs> that's what I just said. Bob, no, it isn't. Bob and Tom at bobandtom.com. No, he, he wants someone else to mess up. We need to hear that yesterday. You made uh, all the highlights on all the Bob and Tom social media when you, for some unknown reason, played some guy yelling as I was reading a sports story. Oh, yes. And uh, it really bears repeating. No, not really. You shat all over me. and <laughs> no, this, I have a new control thing. I don't. It, I, uh, we address When that. the microphones are on, the Q circuit does not mute. Sure. It's the Ooh. technical uh, thing. Everyone who believes that, stand uh, on their head. <laughs> well, I, I can prove it right now. I could play some uh, well, jams in down, Q. If you put it down yeah, in Q. If you like. I was uh, jamming what kind this of, What were you jamming to? Uh, the South Pacific. Uh, oh, oh, my God. He's not happy talk. <laughs> are you serious? Happy, happy. Oh. He walked in, and he was playing South Pacific. Yeah, for the... Th Third day in a row, I think. Or three what songs, days out what of the last song do you have in your head? What do you oh, like? Oh, just a bunch of them. Oh, okay. my goodness. Oh, uh, Bally High. Oh. And then he was playing... Uh, you can hear her laughing. <laughs> <laughs> one day uh, this week after the love is gone, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Oh, oh that's Phil a good one. Philip Bailey. Can you get up there? Yesterday was... I can't even attempt that's it. That's too high for me. Earth, Wind, and Fire Day yesterday. I don't care that. for Philip Bailey. Uh, right now, the Bob and Tom Show is brought to you by Better Help. Yeah, it's confusing out there. There's a million things coming at you. Try to go to sleep and your thoughts are going, ah. It's like 3D. It's coming at you. Uh, but, yeah, it's confusing. And, and, and therapy can be really helpful for you because you've got a lot to do to help a lot of other people. So help yourself a little bit with therapy. Better help is a great way to get connected to therapy. And the whole thing is done online, by which I mean the therapist is selected with an online questionnaire. And then the therapy itself is done online. Here's how it works. You fill out a brief questionnaire. You'll get matched with a licensed therapist. And by the way, you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. And then um, the therapy itself is done online. So you can do it like you're on the phone. You could do it uh, with camera going uh, like it's a Zoom call or you could do it texting back and forth. It's all about what works for you at BetterHelp. So get a break from your thoughts with BetterHelp. 
Uh, visit BetterHelp.com slash BT Show today to knock an additional 10% off your first month. And that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, BetterHelp.com slash BT Show. Get on your way to being your best self in this portion of the Bob and Tom Show brought to you by BetterHelp. A great idea, a great way of taking advantage of uh, these little computers we call phones that we carry around all the time, making it super convenient for you. Coming up, we also have an update on the uh, outhouse event from yesterday that was widely reported. Ugh. This woman who dropped her very expensive uh, Apple watch into a... Uh, into, into a, an, out, an outhouse, outhouse. And, then, and then jumped in to Ugh. get it. Ugh. Yeah, no kidding. I Couldn't you get a stick? You maybe? remember my story <laughs> when I was in uh, Canada fishing with uh, my buddy Maury, and uh, we went to uh, another gentleman's house to have some fellowship and yeah. uh, uh, some uh, tall drinks. And uh, uh, he had an outhouse at his uh, place, and it was the sweetest, cleanest, most beautiful outhouse I'd ever seen. Wow. And it really? was out of doors. It was lovely. No smell at all. Huh. It was gourd, and it was all self self contained. Hmm. There's some sort of mite that, mites that live in there eating the poop. I think they're poop mites. Oh. <laughs> Teeny little poop, poop mites. mites. Lovely little, little poop, poop mites. mites. When we come back, chum, this chum, is the chum, chum, this chum. is the Bob and Tom show. Bob and Tom. In the last break, if you were with us, you know that we took a pair of um, uh, special panties known as the Club Vibe. And these panties have a uh, special vibrating device Very that uh, slips into a, a pocket in the, uh, in the front of the most intimate area. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. in, the, in the front mm -hmm. naughty, I think. Right, the front, front naughty. naughty. Oh, yes, I like uh, that. In that zone. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, Josh put them on, and, and then uh, Josh, did you enjoy that? Yeah, yeah, not bad. And the way it worked, there was a button on the on. There's a remote control button, right. mm -hmm. and uh, Sadie and and Chick were able to press that button. It also well, and you talk into it, the sound activates it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So sound. we yeah. so as an experiment, we brought Dean our producer into the room who's a very fine guitarist and Dean happens to have a uh, bass oh, try no. playing a note on the bass and Christy see if it vibrates please all right here we go and and we should come up with a safe word no we should <laughs> need me to stop wait a minute what uh, note or what yeah. note are safe. you choosing whoa, are you whoa. a safe, safe romantic word. note yeah because no doesn't mean no when no doesn't safe word. the safe, safe word should be uh, getty? chick oh I think getty chick? getty lee getty, getty lee Yell for Get Getty and we'll stop Getty okay Chick could be fine I like that and remember you don't have to listen to the safe word <laughs> so now when he hits the bass, tell, that's me not if, safe. tell me if it vibrates. Bad advice, bad when advice. He hits. Right, we'll, start out with it. we'll start out with the G string right here. Ooh. Is that vibrating? Yeah. Is, the, is it still vibrating? Oh, yes. Is it indeed the G? Yeah. It picks up ambient sound from okay, music. It's not inside. I'm not okay, in the spot. I, I don't know how much longer we can go. Her face is already flushed. <laughs> I don't hey, this think. is foreplay. That was just a foreplay yeah. note. Okay. Dean, do something with kind of a beat let's, to well, it. Well, let's so see if she can take a low E right here. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. Does that change the vibration? Yeah. Does it? Well, and it, it's sustaining. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm getting, I'm, I'm feeling a little left out over here. Uh, oh, do you have another you pair? You can't favor it? women. Uh, we do have another pair. Okay, here's the funny thing. There's kind of a, a little delay between when you hit the when you number. hit the chord and then it oh, picks it up. Anticipation, <laughs> oh, a little oh, anticipation. Oh, we need con yeah. Oh boy, does it vibrate? You know, none heart? of the bass players I ever dated okay, did this. Look. <laughs> Tom, look at her face. I mean, she's, she's all right. Yes. Do you, know, do you know the bass line to Whip and Post? Okay, that's not funny. <laughs> 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 no more news today, you guys. And I did not. Okay, okay. Oh, oh wait, no, no, it like, no, now it looks like it's actually painful. Safe word. Getty Lee! <laughs> okay, there we go. Hey, it's Josh, and of course. Hi, Chick McGee, everybody. Your chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg for Bob and Tom and Big Green Egg. Each week, someone will win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. It's the Bob and Tom Show Pig Skin Pick, empowered by the Big Green Egg. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest on the computer. <laughs> oh, is that where you go? Are we eligible? Okay, once again, Josh has put them on over his... Uh, okay. Okay, so now in the, in the groin area yeah, there... Well, is a, uh, that looks ridiculous. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, is she turning it on? 
Uh, Sit back down. No, this is why we have HD cameras. Sadie has the remote control. Mm-hmm. And what does it give it? Caught in a crack? What's going on back there? Okay. Okay. You 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 okay? Okay, so are you prepared? Now, Sadie, explain to me how the remote works. Okay, so up to 20 feet away, which makes it really fun for a Valentine's Day date out to dinner with your lover, a little private. There's three different modes. There's right. manual mode where I can just press a button and oh. it will vibrate. <laughs> All there's, right, there we go. There's ambient mode where you can hold it up to a speaker and it'll pick up the bass from music. Is that? Oh. Or you can whisper sweet nothings into the mic like oh this. Oh, my God. Can you? Oh. Oh, hey so is she, as she talks, it's vibrating? Hey there, baby. That's pretty boy. good. <laughs> so she could be in the next room on a phone. Yeah. I'm really here. I'm going to step over here. Oh. oh, okay. Now Sadie's leaving and walking away over to Chick's mic. All right. And, um, oh, 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 my God. <laughs> oh, she's, she's whispering. She's talking to him, yeah. Here, here, here. I feel pretty here, good. Oh, yeah. Let, let me try. Whisper sweet Wait nothing. Oh, oh, now I've got the... Oh, oh, oh it's so... <laughs> He's going to be so finished. So what do I do? Do I just No, talk? it's already doing this. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh no! So it's vibrating to his voice. What's going on? What's it's going as on? though What's your going lips on? What's going on? are up against me. Oh! oh. Get it back to Sadie. How about this? <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Oh goodness! Oh. Andy, yes, it's Grandy. Yes. Yeah. I was, I, God, what, what's your sweetheart's name? I guess we'd be Padilla. Padilla? You guys haven't asked me, but mine would be Jasterbate. (laughs) (laughs) So maybe that's why we didn't ask you. Right, right. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Bob and Tom, well-meaning, but... Yeah, they're... They're all messed up. More than slightly confused. There's a new documentary out there entitled Sick. It's the winner of the Los Angeles Independent Film Festival Award. The film chronicles the life and times of super masochistic performance artist Bob Flanagan. In one scene, Flanagan is shown hammering a nail into, then removing it from his most private part, which would be his penis. Wow. (laughs) Boy, what if he misses and, like, hits his thumb? (laughs) (laughs) Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hi, Chick. There's Josh Arnold at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. Hello. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here is Tom. I have some breaking news. What oh, is my that? gosh. Oh, wait a minute. Breaking news. <laughs> no, not sure like text. that. Oh. That sure will. No, no this is happy news. Well, give me a second. Wait a minute. Breaking news. I think I've got a new... Uh, New breaking news thing for you. Okay. Uh, okay, ready? Here we go. There we that, go. This just in after four months. Four months. The hot dog shaped Wiener Mobile is back to being called the Wiener Mobile. Oh, oh okay. remember they changed it to the Frank Mobile there for a yeah, while? That's no good. In honor of the 100% beef Franks in the new recipe of the hot dog, it's not been very successful. So. They have announced, right. Oscar Meyer, that they are going back to the Wiener Mobile. Are they going to call Elon and tell him to go back to Twitter? <laughs> every every newscast has reported on X, formerly Twitter. Twitter. Okay, mm-hmm. how long is this going to last? Well, I don't think X is going to last much longer. You think they're going to? People are not are bailing. Shouldn't every newscast say, according to Twitter, oh, wait, this is the news. <laughs> We're not going to bother talking about that. <laughs> right? <laughs> what happens on Twitter sort of doesn't matter. According to, to according to TikTok, teenage I, girls are dancing to uh, the sounds yeah. of garbage trucks. And here we go. Let's watch this for now. I wonder what the percentage is of people going to Twitter for their news. Oh, it's I huge. bet it's higher yeah. than you think. It is. Yeah. It's, it's, it's most. I think it's the most. I think, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised at eighty percent. Yeah, yeah. You mean X? See, this is just, yeah, why? Whatever. Why confuse? The, why muddy the waters? The world's most. It's confusing enough. That's why we're here. Yeah. Wait a you minute. Know, if you muddy the waters, you can't see clearly. <laughs> well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'll put that on T-shirt. Um, uh, coming up, we have. Um, I'll, I'll run this by you, Ace. Mm-hmm. Ace Cosby, of course, our engineer. Uh, <clears throat> coming up, Ace. The Gurning. Championships. You know what that is? I do not. Okay. Is uh, that where you race uh, hospital gurneys? Oh, that'd be a good guess, though. 
with oh, with patients with IVs in yeah. that are that yeah. are uh, in, in hospice care. And, That'd be hilarious. And they could do it like uh, degree of difficulty, like they do with uh, diving, like how how long they have to live. And... Well, Grandpa was going to go anyway, so he, he would have loved going this way. Well, no, that's... you know, over the cliff. Yeah, <laughs> the down the on ramp, the, the Pikes Peak, the Pikes Peak gurney climb. It's Al Unser Jr. Al is a daring man. <laughs> No, He's Gurney. Okay, space. Josh, you want to take a crack at it? I don't know this. Gurney, I mean, I, I'm going to guess it's the uh, the wife-carrying race. Close. Okay. Close. Um, How about uh, girding girding your loins? Gurning? No, it's, it's. I'll give you a hint. It's G-U-R-N-I-N-G. We've, ta we've talked about this before a couple I, years ago. I can't ago. play because I saw the story. Gurning. Is it's, it the, uh, you can... Uh, uh, can I give you a hint? Yeah. Um, if you have fully removable dentures, you'd have an advantage. Oh, okay. That doesn't... Uh, oh, a, a suck oh. suckathon? No. Is it, it's not a suckathon of some sort. Okay. A, a, a golf ball through a... No? No. Uh, it's it's that thing where you make really ugly faces. Oh, oh. you can kind of... So, like, old men can kind of swallow yeah, half yeah. their faces. Remember, yeah. remember when you were a kid, they yeah. had that one guy that had that... It yeah. just... It's, it looks like some creature from... Yes. You're right. Some kind of mythological story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we have the Gurning Championship winner, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we do. Really? And since this oh. is radio, it's going to be really helpful. It's always... <laughs> seems like it's a guy without any teeth. Yeah. And yeah. He can mash his face down <laughs> right. or whatever. It, it just... It always just creeps yeah. the hell out of me. <laughs> really? Gurning. Oh, and the one this year that... Oh, my God. Does it's it really? Just hideous. You uh, you place a lot of importance on uh, physical appearance. No, I just get creeped out by stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm totally wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've had to move at restaurants. Uh, we <laughs> My favorite story, and he'll deny it, is he got so upset one night at a restaurant, he had to call his mother and say, I, I don't know why I'm so upset. Can you can you give me some words of wisdom oh, for, this, wow. for this interlude? You've never, I had to move... Uh... <laughs> Because someone had too much patchouli on in the next booth. Oh, well. Ruining yeah, the taste of my food. <laughs> okay. Not to mention their B.O. that was wafting through the... I'm sorry. I, it's time now, to, uh, time now to move forward with uh, Chick McGee at the Bob and Tom Sports Desk. Hey, baby. You want to come and take a ride with Mississippi Mud Flap? Mississippi Mud uh, Flap. That's right. Uh, we had an NFL football game last night. Remember Thursday night football? Sure. I, I, watched, uh, I watched a little bit of this last night oh. just to hear uh, Al Michaels finish all of uh, Herbie's sentences last night. That's it, right, it Herbie. Was, I'll tell you what. And, and what happened? <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening, Chick. I thought we it was need very that interesting. audio from yesterday where you uh, were so concerned I wasn't going to get wh where you wanted to go fast enough. You came in and said, "Did you see this? Did you notice this? Did you read this?" <laughs> well, I mean, the NFL game really isn't about you, is it? <laughs> what? Now it's about all of us. Are you the one who looks at me every morning and says, "We're going to have to stretch"? <laughs> Not today. We got some great stuff coming. <laughs> Christian McCaffrey scored a touchdown in his twelfth straight game, and Brock Purdy, <laughs> Mrs. Purdy. Ooh, Miss Purdy, <laughs> threw two touchdown passes, and the San Francisco 49s won their thirteenth straight regular season game, thirty to twelve. Over the New York Giants. The Nines weren't particularly sharp on offense, but it was all <laughs> they needed. Uh, big runs by Debo and George uh, Kittle, who sounds like uh, a Disney character. George Kittle does. George. Yeah. Little George Kittle. Sounds like Mary Poppins. George Kittle, you let those kids do what they want. George, oh, it does. You're right. George Kittle, don't you say that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I'll be. Who was that actor that was in all those? Um, dark hair with a mustache. Yeah. British. Wore, wore a bowler. Yes. Uh, yeah. Bowler, Wisconsin. Yeah. Kind of a, <laughs> he was in like seven of those movies. <laughs> kind of a, a lesser known Terry Thomas. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of a sex, <laughs> sexless, yeah. right. sexless, puffy old fart. <laughs> yes. They, yes. They, very stuffy. They told him <laughs> I say. He was mustache. great at what, uh, that role. Look, you're going to have to grow a mustache. We can tell you're a guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a you know, typical British homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Oh, boy, yeah. <laughs> Royal Academy of Drama Have and Have you <laughs> <laughs> Are you a fan of Oliver's? I am a fan of Oliver's. Well, come with friend, me. friend of Dorothy, are you? <laughs> Royal Academy. Uh, <laughs> hey, guess, what, guess what's happening tomorrow? What? Uh, Anyone want to guess? Come on, come on. Uh, Farm College, college football. Uh, think uh, st uh, think um, uh, Galaxy. 
um, space. A uh, total eclipse? Geology. Of ge my heart? Geography. <laughs> oh. What's the word? I'm, I can't think of the word I'm looking Geology for. Geology and space. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah They're just, dropping you know, some asteroid it. dust in the Utah desert. I know that. Uh, what? It's uh, the equinox. Oh. Oh, boy. The, the autumnal equinox. Yeah, course. and it's happening tomorrow. That's right. So since um, we're, we're, we're taking so a, we're a glorious day off this year. Um, this is one of my favorites uh, from uh, Tim Cavanaugh. Oh, you're the one. A tribute to, uh, to Jethro Tull. And the uh, their one great album, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Aqualung, yeah, as featured with Tony Soprano singing in an episode of The Sopranos. This is a tribute to uh, the Equinox. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on a park bench, <laughs> noticing the day and nights the same length. <laughs> Vernal <laughs> or autumnal I prefer vernal but autumnal's not bad <laughs> Equinox <laughs> It sounds like something online <laughs> Like eBay or E-Trade But it's not <laughs> Equinox <laughs> If you are nocturnal, you've got 12 hours to get all your stuff done. <laughs> Equinox. <laughs> oh, oh, Equinox. Little Timmy Cavanaugh. Tribute to the autumnal equinox. We're going to have right. to be up very early. 2.50 a.m. is the actual time of the equinox. Saturday morning. Yeah. Okay. 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 A little bit of... Uh, I've been doing that. I'm going to miss it. What is that? Cos is it. that cosmetology? What Cosmology? What, what is what? the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, cosmetology is not it. That's where you... That's, like make that's makeup and lips yeah. and stuff. Stars like. and Russian moon. makeup. No, astronomy? I oh, I see. Uh, you looking for astronomy? I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm looking for. Uh, but uh, we can get back to sports now. We've had that great... Uh, Great uh, t tribute to Jethro Tull. Okay, for hey, hey, how was that Jethro Tull concert you went to, Josh? Jeez. Uh, it was. Uh, I was happy to finally see uh, Ian Anderson live. He still uh, hops around and flutes it up, but uh, I could have uh, used a few more of the hits. Yeah, yeah. No bungle in the jungle. No bungle in the jungle. No living in the past. No thick as a brick. No cross-eyed Mary. No teacher. Oh my goodness! <laughs> what do you play? They played that one. The hits were uh, Aqualung and Locomotive Breath. Oh. That was it. So, yeah. And it was like two and a half hours. Uh, I'll bet in the commercial for the show they played all the hits. <laughs> I bet. Don't you love that? <laughs> Jethro Toll is coming. Hit, 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 hit. He won't play any of these songs. <laughs> so it was an interesting decision not to play a lot Why of songs. Why doesn't that qualify for bait and switch, huh? Saying that in a commercial and then you get there and... Yeah. What? Yeah. Why can't you sue... Uh, yeah, paying the way out. That'd be the trick to that. Uh, this oh. next number, because he would talk uh, between songs, and it was, he was, oh, he's a witty man or whatever. But very, very. And now man. I would like to play Persuasion, a stately dance. Or whatever that is. <laughs> we were like, yeah. all right. Uh, yeah, that's Ian. <laughs> yeah. He was in here, uh, didn't couple, we couple let, times. let him smoke a pipe or something at one point? He played his, he played his flute. I thought he had a pipe. I he seems like a pipe smoker. No, I think he was. Well, yeah, and he's a fish farmer, right? Not anymore. Didn't he do salmon? <gasps> yeah, he had a sa salmon farm. Yeah. We have salmon in the news coming up. I'm looking forward to it. But right now, I'm looking forward to what happened uh, last night in football. Uh, 49ers won 30 to 12 over the Giants and the Dallas Cowboys. Boy, uh, if, uh, if, uh, if there's anything that uh, bruises this old man's heart more than a cowboy getting injured, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Dallas Cowboys cornerback Trayvon Diggs, uh, yes, Stefan's brother, has sustained a torn ACL in his left knee. Right oh. knee. Weenie. Oh, it's his left knee, actually. Oh, oh. Uh, it happened in practice. It's a blow for the defense off to the great start so far. The all-pro seen leaving the team's headquarters on crutches. Oh, dang on it. Diggs had his first interception of the season, last week's 30-10 to win over the J-E-T-S Jets, 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 and he's tied for the NFL lead with 18 interceptions since entering the league in 2020. Diggs just signed a $97 million five-year contract extension. 
at the start of training camp. Oh, I can dig it. Boy, talk about... Did you hear Kevin Hart any of that story or just the name? <laughs> oh, I couldn't care less about the story. I just, uh, some, some poor guy got injured. I feel bad for him. Does suck. No, you don't. It does suck. That no, I don't like guys getting injured. I'm, All right. Go out there and play. <laughs> Get out there and play. Give it a shot, right? Pittsburgh Steelers safety uh, Minka Fitzpatrick. His first name is Minka. <laughs> I love you, Minka. I love you, chick. Oh, oh, oh. oh so the platelet. Uh, Minka, <laughs> the hit, he was the one who uh, injured Nick Chubb. Uh, on Monday night, he says that the hit that I put on Chubb was unfortunate, but not dirty. Fitzpatrick hit Chubb in his left knee while Chubb was trying to score in the second quarter of Pittsburgh's 26-22 win. Chubb bent awkwardly, at least, over the knee and now faces surgery and a lengthy rehab. Fitzpatrick says he told Chubb on the field uh, the hit was not intentional, and I can't tell you what Chubb said to Fitzpatrick as he was trying to tell him. God, why would he say was, anything to him? Why yeah. would he just go over and sit on the bench yes. and, and not try to do anything about anything? Uh, two, uh, ten days, Tom, remain in Major League Baseball's regular season. Uh, the playoff races are hot in the National League. We've got uh, the Phillies, Diamondbacks, Cubs, Marlins, Reds, and Giants scrambling for three playoff positions in the American League, the Rangers, Astros, Blue Jays, and Mariners, actual sports content there for a, Things a brief shining moment. They're about to get wild. To go back to the, football. With the wild card. The wild card. Did you know this, Josh? What's that? Al Michaels. Uh, yeah. Very fine announcer. Yeah. Um, has never eaten a vegetable. Wow. What? <laughs> I didn't know that. How the hell do you know that? No, he's famous. For, I'm not kidding. He was famous. There was an interview. He was in <laughs> Kansas City. And he was talking about how much he loved Kansas City steaks. And he said, oh. I, have, I have never eaten a vegetable. I am not a I mean, that just seems that so seems unlikely. crazy. That's true. Well, hmm. uh, we'll take his word for it, I, I mean, guess. it's kind of like an ace. That's sort of an ace-like thing. I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's stuff you've never eaten, right, He ace? might have prefaced it as an adult. Uh, he, he but says Tom would also like to know if there's something you've never eaten. This is a setup for a stereotype joke, which apparently is going. <laughs> I tried to get. You thank you. I thought, <laughs> I, I thought you. I thought you served it up well. I'd never I, heard this contention, but you are uh, absolutely married to it. Well, that's because of Lance. <laughs> what? I think a guy Lance, that I worked with. Lance was a lesser black man. Obviously, <laughs> he's. Uh, I, I, he, I was once so he, schooled in the ways of... Of one guy. <laughs> yep. No, I had also heard it, but I but again, these stereotypes don't necessarily... They're, 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 they used to be rife with comedy. <laughs> <laughs> now they're just uh, wrong. Stay, yeah, stay, wrong. Yeah, okay. uh, uh, can I have the, uh, the teaser, please? Uh, more uh, sports coming up, including uh, Tom... Uh, talked about it earlier, Gurning Championship, and um, we'll talk about a dentist. Don't you want to be a dentist? You can't be a dentist. Oh, it's a, it's a great, it's a great dentist. story about dentists. That's don't go anywhere if you're <laughs> on your way to your office, <laughs> dentists out there. Yeah, you, you're safe. I love my dentist. Uh, right now, I want to talk about uh, uh, kickstarting the fall. Kickstart my heart. We got the we got the equinox <laughs> coming, and the folks at HelloFresh understand that in the fall we have no free time. Everyone is incredibly busy. This is where HelloFresh comes in. Well, how does it work? Let's see now. They have the best meal kit out there, of course. And what does that mean? Well, it means they do the shopping. They do the measuring. You just put it together. The advantage of that is you're getting fresh stuff to make great food. And I'm talking about a whole array of food. Every week, uh, you've got more than 40 choices from uh, vegan stuff way over that way and all the way over this way for good old classic comfort food and everything in between. You'll be making stuff you can't even pronounce that's delicious. And of course, HelloFresh has really stepped up with these new quick and easy recipes like some of these 15-minute meals. Christy Lee's been working on some HelloFresh. What do you got over There's there? There's one in the Hall of Fame, the Mexican chicken and rice bowls with salsa fresca and lime sour cream takes just 20 minutes to throw it together very few ingredients only about six steps and you're right there having dinner with this beautiful rice bowl so don't be standing over the sink eating a donut from last night and looking for some cold rice get a great great restaurant quality <laughs> dinner you put together in just a few minutes join america's number one meal kit today it's hello fresh 
you got to know the code, though. It's 50BTSHOW. That'll help them a lot. It'll help you, too, because when you use the code 50BTSHOW at HelloFresh, that'll knock 50% off the price, plus 15% off for the next couple of months. Here's what you do. You go to HelloFresh.com slash 50BTSHOW. That's HelloFresh.com slash 50BTSHOW. Coming up, d- news in dentistry, kind of. <laughs> um, and uh, dangerous squirrels. And my favorite story this morning involves um, the belly button. Yeah. And, and our Chinese friends. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Reach us toll free at one. Yesterday we were talking about hickeys. Yeah. I have a story oh, for you. you Which one of your daughters you has one? You had those hickeys, yeah. Oh, and, they're, and your daughters. Yeah. No, nobody has hickeys, but we have death by hickey. Death by hickey? Mm-hmm. Well. My boyfriend was a vampire. <laughs> Were that me, I'm sure the officers would stand over my body and say, I have a feeling this is how he'd wanted to go. <laughs> <laughs> More chalk. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I'm so oh gigantic. Oh, my God. One Here's stick one of, of chalk the things I've ever would done. never <laughs> not be we enough We have to use a whole box all. of chalk to outline his... Look uh, at him. He had to take his headphones off, <laughs> lean back, and just, he's yeah. screaming with laughter. <laughs> he's, he's just an awful person. <laughs> I wish I were an actual sports sword. I can rip your body, your limbs. More chalk. Lucky numbers. Man, if that weren't funny, I'd be you know so what? mad. You know what, Josh? I ate all day yesterday, and I really feel good about it, so screw it. You know what? It doesn't matter. I was just trying to lighten the, the sad picture we all had of... Josh lying there dead. Oh. Maybe lighten the, oh, light well, the mood. You know, I think yeah. that's even more insulting. He's taken an insult to you and tried to spin it into a positive. Oh, yeah, that's what's insulting. Good Sorry. God. <laughs> mm. It's literally just water. I, uh... Mouth it. Mouth it? Has that been throwing you guys off? Like, I've been told that when I drink out of bottles that I really, like, wrap my whole mouth around them or whatever. And I'll be honest, I have no idea what people are talking about. How we doing, fellas? Our house band today, the Black Moods. Smack Tom, Smack Tom. It's time now to uh, Smack Tom. He's been running his mouth again. He's been pissing us off again. Smack Tom, Smack Tom. Uh, I'll handle the lyrics. <laughs> and we Smack Tom. <laughs> You took my breath away from the moment I first saw you. Will you marry me, Dolly? She said yes! She said yes! It's not a real person. It's not a real diamond. Real, natural, earthborn diamond. For your real love, from a real jeweler you can trust. Steven Singer Jewelers. say we didn't warn you there's laughter ahead this is bob and tom radio al from the mbs news center in new york i'm tom bochow in bogota colombia brian naranjo age 18 says being small has its advantages one being having a better view of girls in miniskirts 
standing just 27.9 inches tall. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Rod Joe was named the smallest man in Latin America. By the <laughs> Guinness Book of Records. Uh, 27 inches Besides tall. Besides holding the number one position, he fulfilled another dream by going to Disneyland where he called the It's a Small World exhibit disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> In Stockholm, Sweden, Leif Borg, warning he would blow the courtroom into the air just 10 minutes earlier at his divorce trial, pulled dynamite from his briefcase and set it off, killing himself and seriously wounding his wife's lawyer, severing the lawyer's limbs. Wow. Witnesses said the explosion occurred during proceedings to determine how the couple's property would be split. For once, a lawyer got the charge that cost him an arm and a leg. And on a high one, not a boy. Good move. <laughs> call, call. <laughs> Throw away the script and get out. <laughs> Hello, this is comedian John Evans, the High Plains thrifter, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. And Jesus said, take this bread and eat it. It is my body. And the disciples said, Jesus, we're all on low-carb diet. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you dying for our sins, but we're all trying to slim down. Like <laughs> we want to look good in the painting. We're hanging out with uh, comedian Dove Davidoff. Um, now, do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a... I have, I have, uh, I have someone that left me that I still love very much. But uh, Thanks I, I'm for bringing it up, Tom. No, 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 Sorry, no, no. I think these are good. I think they're no, interesting because everybody's going through this at some point. What? Yeah. Not to mention his goggles, which I had just <laughs> bought them. Yeah. Um, she no, took no, your dog. She took your dog. She did take the animal. I, you know, I, I, it's, it's, uh, it was hard. I'm just worried I'm going to become that guy. Like you know, like the, 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 you know, that fork in the road where you have a defining moment in your life, and had you been able to make it work, you could have been a whole person. But you didn't. Like, I'm worried 10 years from now, I'm going to see her on the other side of the street and the sun's shining and she has kids and they're, lick, they're eating ice cream and, you know, she's got a husband. And then I'm on this side of the street and it's dark and raining and I got an open silk shirt with a gold medallion and I'm trying to <laughs> convince some stripper to get my 88 Mustang because I know somebody with good coke. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy, Bob. I want to be a decent human being. I'm fighting a good fight, you know? Uh, I'm with you. <laughs> and now you I find a myself. Dream. I got a dream. And she's got the dog. I, I'm more worried about the dog than the gold medallion. <laughs> hey, everybody. This is Todd Snyder, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. And his friends' details coming up. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Chrissy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. Pat Godwin and uh, Willie Griswold uh, out there on the road. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Hello, Tom. Hello, Chick McGee. Uh, speaking of on the road... Uh, our friend Nick Griffin, who uh, stopped by yesterday, great comedian. He is going to be in Bloomington, Illinois at the Cackle Shack coming up this evening. Am I actual, getting that right? Actual name. And then uh, yeah. sa Saturday, Mason City Limits in Mason City, Illinois. And then Petersburg that same night doing a second late show uh, at the Broad Gauge. So go see Nick. He'll be terrific at the live what? and in person. At the Broad Gauge? Broad Gauge. Huh. Not sure of the origin of that. Nor am I uh, aware of the Cackle Shack. I do know that it's uh, next door to the uh, Cankle Shack, which is a uh, shoe store for the bigger gals. <laughs> oh, um, I'd like a, uh, I have cankles, and I'm not a bigger gal, I'd so like you a stop. a long sleeve shirt from the Cackle Shack, a little t-shirt that says Cackle Shack on it. We'll You'd get like one of those? I, uh, I like long sleeve shirts. I've decided at this point in my life I'm not going to wear short sleeves anymore. Fascinating. Uh, coming up uh, September 30th, <laughs> it's a Saturday night at the Olympic Theater in Cedar Rapids. It'll be Mr. Jeff Oskey, who we're going to hear from later today, and Pat Godwin. So a uh, great show coming to Cedar Rapids. Um, coming up Saturday, September 30th. So we turn back to Chick McGee right now. He is at the Bob and Tom Sports Desk. Uh, college football coming up this weekend. Tom, are you set? Are you ready? Tomorrow's going to be a big day in college football. Ohio State travels to Notre Dame. Yes, oh, gee, I hadn't heard. Friends of mine are going. Notre Dame... Uh did you hear sarcasm coming out of the girl? Over yeah, I, I, I had a lot I, of people talking about this game. Oh, okay. right. uh, Notre Dame. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. Notre Dame plus three, uh, hosting the Buckeyes tomorrow. Deion Sanders and his traveling uh, circus of football stars <laughs> visits Oregon tomorrow. Does anyone want to guess 
what the spread is on Colorado at Oregon. I think you said yesterday. Didn't you say 21? Nope. It's 21. Oh. That's uh, right. Yeah. He was listening. Colorado plus 21. I'm stunned that that yes. got through that haze of uh, Griswold. Uh, I just thought it. last week I heard that uh, the, the, the buffs if you will, were yes. at home, and tickets were going for 800 bucks a seat. Yep. Nice. Are. Secondary market, as they say. They keep saying things like the world of college football, football in general, has never seen anything like this. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before Dion goes to the NFL. He is truly a savant when it comes to motivating young men and football players. Mm. What do you think of that, Tom? Okay. Huh. I think it'll be interesting. Uh, Michigan hosting uh, Rutgers, which is your... Mr. Magoo team, right? Mr. Magoo team. Mr. Magoo did go play for Ruck mm -hmm. Rutgers. My mom went to Michigan. So and my uh, sister went. Oh, so who are you going to root brother. for then? Oh, yeah. You're uh, torn between Mr. Yeah. Magoo and your family. What are you going to do? I don't that know. is a tough <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rutgers getting 24 Ooh. up there at the big house. May not be enough. Uh, but that's not the longest line this weekend. Would you care? Can I interest you in Arizona State hosting USC? Arizona State, USC, okay? Um, Arizona State at home. They're getting 35. Ooh. And the hook. You know what that means, the hook? It's a half point. And the hook. That's what they call it in the betting world. I like it. 35 and the hook. So it's 35 so and a half. It, they're that precise. Oh, sure. After 35, they're still, well, we're not quite sure. And add that half. And the half will come into play as sure yeah. as I'm sitting here. Okay. Somehow it will be. Uh, can, I, can I mention something? I, I um, can't uh, think of a way to stop you. Uh, you don't have to gamble or even put any money out to win the Big Green Egg Minimax from this show. In fact, uh, we may or may not be talking to our winner from this week. We had a tactical issue. But uh, the very handsome Craig Joseph was our winner, and uh, Craig got 15 of 16 games last week, tied with eight other folks, and uh, he won all the tiebreakers, so he wins the Big Green Egg Minimax. It's a clean slate. Week three is up and running. You can still enter. You'll be out one game, but uh, you can still enter, right? Yeah. Um, uh, it's uh, very simple. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest. And pick all the winners. You don't even have to get involved with the spread and the points and blah, blah, blah. Get involved. Blah. And if you'd like to get involved, uh, uh, the Chick McGee on Instagram, the uh, picks are up there. Uh, a, a sneak peek, if you will, of what I'm going to be picking later. Okay, very good. Uh, Two-time Women's World Cup champion Julie Ertz played her final match for the United States. A 3 nothing win over South Africa down in Cincinnati. Love Ertz. <laughs> <laughs> she suppose, do you suppose when making love she's ever said to someone, let Ertz put you in the driver's seat? No, it I it guarantee she hasn't said that. I'm assuming that's an old jingle of oh, Ertz. Oh, Ertz right oh, car, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, yes. Oh, in it fact, was in a Good, good Neighbor, Neighbor Sam. Sam. Oh, it's oh, a yeah. classic running gag. They have the famous band, The High Lows. Yeah, you sent the me that The famous clip. band, The yeah. High Lows, and the famous movie, Good Neighbor Sam. Great it, movie. It's a wasteland of, of people are <laughs> not, not aware of it. any of it. Mike Connors is in oh, it. Oh, uh, great. Mannix? Is Jack Lemon in that? Yes. Yeah. I love the Mannix theme. Don't you guys like the yes. Mannix theme? But yeah, the, there, uh, there was a famous jingle, Let Hurts, Put You famous. in the Driver's Seat. And then it shows in the movie, there's this very funny running gag. Uh, the, you, you have to see it. Back oh, then, they yeah. didn't have uh, CGI. So no, they're, they're trying to yeah, attempt to. Right. They're attempting to drop a guy into a convertible. Yeah, on wires. <laughs> on wi oh, God, it's hilarious. Oh, God, it's <laughs> hilarious. There's a nice little punchline, little tag there at the end. It's great. It's great stuff. All right. Don't they finally get him in the car? Yeah, and he so, screws it up. Yeah. He, screw, he screws up the line or something? <laughs> oh, man. man, that's good coffee. <laughs> 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 what he says. <laughs> Something like that. Huh. I haven't seen it for a while. But anyway, uh, we wish uh, Julie Ertz well, one of the uh, true uh, yes. uh, uh, women of science. Julie, Julie Ertz. Ertz. Thank you. And remember, if she married uh, Bill Donut, she would be Julie, Julie Ertz, Ertz Donut. Donut. <laughs> <laughs> no, That's your, one of the classics. Go, go did, did, did you, when you were a kid, did you get the Hertz Donut? Yeah, we did Hertz Donut. Yeah. Oh, at the, oh uh, yeah. The Cherry Thumper? What's that? Mm -hmm. You 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 stick your knuckle out of your middle finger and pound somebody in the chest. That's ow. 
It's a cherry, a cherry thumper. No, we never we did the that. cherry thumper. That reminds me. There's one where you rub your head. We were talking yesterday about the... A burn uh, Indian rub. Yeah. Oh, I probably can't say that. Yeah, I can't say we, that. we were talking about uh, uh, CPR. Yeah, we were talking about CPR. Because there was a news story indicating that uh, a recent survey found that... Um, people are hesitant pe- people to do it on women. less likely to do CPR on a woman. Right. And I, I, I can understand the hesitancy because you could be accused, I suppose, of having um, uh, uh, unfortunate motives, if you know what I'm saying. I do know what you're saying. But you were saying how hard you have to push. I got a note from a doctor saying if you push too hard, you'll break their ribs. Yes, well, sure, that's yeah. true. That's very right. very common. They, they told us that in the past. Yeah. Gotta be careful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, it's um, just harder. All, I, all we said was that it's harder than you would think. And yeah. then we have um, one of those gizmos in the hallway. What's that called? <laughs> A defibrillator? Yes. Mm-hmm. And only, Chick and I are the only two people that didn't take the class, but that's the, for the simple reason. What, Chick? Why is that? Uh, we're going to need, we're, we're not going to be able to bring anyone back because we're going to be the one laying on the floor. Yeah. Okay. Mm, let's not discount Godwin. <laughs> oh, that's true. Wait a second. Yeah, he okay. took the class, and that's, he's just yeah. as likely to be. Can you do it to yourself? <laughs> uh, what's coming up in sports? Don't you still have that cow heart or something in there? What do you, a cow tissue or the actual cow valve? What do you got going No, no, no. I have a, a, a valve made with cow tissue. You oh, they, I see. You some people get a pig valve. Pig I valve, get yeah. I did not get Aren't that. we closer to pigs than any... Uh, Very close. Yeah, right? Yep, that's I why you dissect. I know, I know I dated a couple of them. <laughs> now, um, now. Let's, uh, what's coming up in sports? Ah, well, Tom, I'm glad you asked. Uh, with the world gurning, gurning, G-U-R-N-I-N-G, gurning championships, um, and uh, more puppy dogs. And if we're talking dogs, that gives us a chance to mention Gus, <laughs> the Australian Weimaraner. Okay. Who plays? It's the see. last day for this. The paper okay. towel. No, I'm loving this. Card two. two. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> Add to or continue the conversation. Check out the Bob and Tom Show on Facebook. Get the link at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Screen Door Productions presents A Day at Fergler's Hardware.
Hi, everybody. Chick McGee here from the Bob and Tom Show. I want to tell you about the NFL season coming up. We got together with the folks at Big Green Egg, and each and every week, you're going to have a chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg during the Pigskin Pick'em program on the Bob and Tom Show. The question. <laughs> Tough envelope. What does the coat girl say to Sammy Davis right after she says, hat, sir? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is Stevie Nicks. Stevie, Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks. <laughs> what happens when Stevie Wonder tries to shave himself? <laughs> <laughs> Morning laughter. <laughs> Just might be the best medicine. I can hear you. Oh, no. You're talking out your ass again. Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7. Joining us in the studio, comedian Larry Reeb. Now, well, Larry, you are from... Chicago. Mm -hmm. You just got a great Chicago yeah. accent. Well, it's some, originally I'm from a little town, Dwight, Illinois. It's a farm town. Uh -huh. There's a mental institution and a women's prison there. Really? And my parents met... Here I am. <laughs> but yeah, I live in Chicago. Are you married? Are you I've been married ten years. Oh, how's really? it going? Good. I think us guys need good women, don't you? Women oh, yeah. keep us in line. Sure. Oh, yeah. That's why most axe murderers are single. <laughs> <laughs> if they were married, their wife wouldn't put up with that. Put that axe down. You're not chopping anybody. You have to take the garbage out. <laughs> take the ski mask off. It's summer, you idiot. Let's talk to our guest, Tom Foss. Now, uh, do you have any animals? Uh, I got a, two horses, about 15 chickens, dogs, cats. So you are in the country, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. gravel road, one-way gravel road. Really? Do you eat the chickens? No, the eggs. Ah. Huh. My the wife eggs. said she'd never kill one of the chickens. Really? But she doesn't have any problems scrambling up the kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. Uh -huh. well, I'll tell you what I sound like when I make love to a woman. Yeah. I'm actually pretty bad at it. I call it making like. When I make like to a woman... I sound like a very scared man who's crossing a very thin sheet of ice. <laughs> and all he's trying to do is get to the side alive. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> Sounds something like this. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> I can do this? <laughs> oh, thank God, that's so forth. Oh, my God. I have to lay down. <laughs> that's Woo! hot. Yeah, that's hot. I'm kicking it. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Willie and Pat Godwin, not here today, but there's Christy Lee. She's at the news desk. My gosh, I'm here and ready to go. There's Josh Arnold at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. Hello. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here he is, America. It's Tom Griswold. Well, thank you very much. You're I, welcome. I, I want to remind everybody that Craig Joseph, our winner of the Big Green Egg Mini Max, find out what I'm talking about, how you could win by going to bobandtom.com slash contest. Pick the winners. In this week's pro football games. Speaking of football, we return to the sports desk where it is uh, Chick McGee in charge. Uh, last night, of course, uh, Thursday night football. That is uh, Amazon's domain. You had Al Michaels and Kirk Herbstreet on the call last evening. And you had, who is this, Melissa Stark and Joe Thomas and uh, Richard Sherman on the... Um, of course, they have five or seven or 12, 13 people handling the broadcast. I mentioned this to tell you this. Retired NFL quarterback Andrew Luck, formerly of the Indianapolis Colts, showed up last night. Oh, really? Now, is anyone familiar with the, at one time, I'm, well, I think it is pretty popular still. It's, it's a Twitter account, an X account. It's called Captain Andrew Luck. Okay. Now, I don't know who thought of this, but it's written from the perspective if uh, Andrew Luck was a uh, some sort of officer in the Civil War, and he would be tweeting out his thoughts and feelings. Here's an example from the account Captain Andrew Luck. Dearest Mother, my beard has been tapered, but not tampered. Thusly, I shall resume my quiet days in my Appalachian cabin, reading to the birds. <laughs> A basket with spiced beaver thighs and fresh squirrel is on the way. Twas lovely to correspond once more. I love you. 
Andrew Luck. <laughs> and last night he showed up in a Civil War costume <laughs> on, <laughs> on the set of... Uh, of Thursday Night Football. There he is. Hilarious. As, as sure a did. Member, a member of the North. How about that? Captain Andrew Luck. No, he, I don't know who started this account, but I, I'm almost certain he did not do it, but there he is. He's very literary. It wouldn't surprise me if he does do it. You think? I don't know. That, that, that's very funny. Yeah. So look at that. There, he looks a lot better than the last time I saw him. He looked he real. looks very nice. Real, I'm sure he's happier than he's ever been. Real thin the last time. That's right. He lives in the area. <laughs> he goes to Stan he's uh, yeah. getting a master's or something at Stanford. Sure. And yeah. he's coaching high school football. Remember? I thought he lived at the uh, he lived at the stadium, doesn't he? Under um, I thought all players did. Left field uh, line? Yeah. Once would have been a, the uh, phantom of the stadium. He eats hot dogs. And, why why uh, haven't they made that movie? <laughs> the phantom of the stadium. That's <laughs> I mean that's I mean that's the the, the elevator pitch. Mm. <laughs> uh, that's uh, that's a, such a funny idea, but I mean, that would be, I could just see sort of like an Adam Sandler movie. And there's an organ at every stadium, usually. Oh, yeah. there you go. Uh, yeah. You'd be, <laughs> and you go uh, and you see right at the end that it's a guy in a half mask playing the organ. Live in one of the suites. It's pretty sure. good, <laughs> pretty, pretty good life. <laughs> Have you seen Phantom of the Opera? Anybody? Yes. I have. Yeah, many times. A couple times. versions. And the, really? Twice that on Broadway. Oh, you mean on Broadway? I yeah. have. I, have I did not, have to go. Oh, my kids love. I did not care for it. I like Hamilton, really? but I didn't It was fine. I didn't. Uh, it was fine. Oh, if anything, I was indifferent, I guess. The Phantom, I like the, of the, chandelier. the Phantom of the Opera <laughs> song goes, oh, the chandelier is a star of the yeah. play, Tom. I remember. Oh, the, yeah. The song goes, Phantom of the Opera is in your face or whatever. It's, it's here. It's here. <laughs> Phantom of the Opera. Yeah. And the school days. And the music of the, the night. night. Who was, the, what was that guy's name who played the Phantom for 20-something years? Uh, the guy Michael from... Some. Yes. The guy from Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum. Boy, you guys are so good at yeah. this stuff. I oh, I'm sorry. I, uh, yeah. Elsewhere in sports. Is this me? Is this still me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Stupid World Record. The World Gurning Championships have returned to the United Kingdom. At last, the <laughs> Gurning Championships have returned to the United Kingdom after a four-year hiatus. Gurning is the process of making a grotesque face. Okay. Oh, yeah. For the event, people put their heads through a horse collar while they contort their features to create the ugliest faces they can manage. Why? The horse collar, does it have any sort of... I think it isolates the face so it's you're not distracted by clothing or other <laughs> things. It's, Is that right? Yes. Okay. Very silly. The annual competition took place in... Wait till you see these pictures. Agramont it's... as part of the Agramont Crab Fair. Mm. I say, are you attending it's, um, the Crab there's, Fair? We have one posted on our big screen. It's, there. I mean, it's gruesome. Well, Oh, my uh, God. Yeah, look at that. Oh, and it's obviously an advantage not to have any teeth. Oh, what are we watching? So, um, <laughs> somebody feeding Patricia Clarkson. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. To drive. Oh, you're looking at the All wrong right. screen, sorry. Um, hey, we got movie the channel. screen yeah, over there. there. Yeah, there's oh. the, the guy. Uh, that looks like every uh, scary face <laughs> I've ever I've ever seen. Yeah, it, it look, you, oh. you've all seen yeah. this face. The guy is clearly taking his dentures out. Sure. Yeah. And uh, hey, Dean, I was watching. That. I posted it on my ex account. Mine. Okay. Formerly known as Tom, Twitter. I'm sorry. We have to discuss. The other TV. <laughs> this is when, every it day. when it was just turned on. <laughs> this has been was happening showing all week. a sex, sex scene. scene. <laughs> which means that the last time this TV was turned off, oh, somebody was in here oh watching this sex scene. <laughs> we need to get to the bottom of this. Is he's watching <laughs> and who's watching porn on adult, our TV? Uh, they're going at it, man. What? I mean, oh my God! Yeah. So somebody was in here yesterday. I like. Patricia or Clarkson. wait a second, who gets in here early in oh, the morning? Yeah. Well. <laughs> I look well. at him looking around like he had nothing to do. Except with Except your logic fails because I can't see that TV. I can only see the one over there. And you wouldn't know how to turn it on. Anyway, no, so part of your affectation is sitting in my chair. <laughs> oh, when you're not here, and I got it. Uh, yes, I, I, I would certainly want oh. to. Uh, I'm chick. I'm chick. So when we're not here, somebody uh, comes in here and watches. Yes, I'd want to coat your computer. Computer with my uh, seed. No, uh, could we get back to gurning? This is excruciatingly Brit British. 
art form of <laughs> squirming your face up. It's this year's contest also broke a Guinness World Record for being the oldest show of its kind. Ooh, look, in, I don't want to see in these the world. Oh. Nothing. Anybody can do that. But Anybody it's just can do That's that. That's her O face. And it's really way. not that gross. Oh. Hey, love that one is. Look at that couple. <laughs> Looks like Popeye and uh, somebody. Else. Somebody was in a horrific car accident. Oh. How does that guy do that? Yeah, these are funny. These are silly. That guy's just naturally <laughs> ugly. He's yeah. Just crossing oh, his eyes. About he looks at least like Bad my man. brother. Oh, look how hot that she is. looks like Harper yeah. Marks after being beaten with a Louisville <laughs> slugger. Uh, you get the idea. These are all very visual for the radio. I'm sorry. Uh, look, Google Gurning if you want to see what they look like. Gurning champion Tommy Madison. M A T T I N S O N also presented with a certificate for the most wins. What do they win at the event with seventeen? Mm. He uh, broke the uh, his own record that night after winning the contest for the eighteenth time. Whoa! Oh, there you go. <laughs> no word on what they won, cash and prizes, okay. or anything like that. Ugly mom. Wasn't the, it, what, didn't your mom always say if you do that, your face is going to stick that way? Sure. Yeah. Ever cross your eyes, they're going to stay that way. You know. God, I believe Mine that did. forever. <laughs> That's right. I, sorry, I forgot that. Christy has the, it's oh, all right. the, the GoFundMe eye. I have the GoFundMe eye, yes. Oh, yeah. It's, you cured yeah. it. I don't know. I've never seen it. No, I, uh, I every now and then, it'll, you don't know what oh, really? to look at. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Can't it tell gets tired occasionally. Can't tell if she's looking at you or Chick. It's, it's very disturbing. <laughs> I had surgery. It's okay. <laughs> and you got to hit her on the side of the head. Boom. Straighten it out. Do you have a GoFundMe nipple? One that kind of looks to the No, side? I don't. That's Sorry cool. to disappoint. No, you're not disappointing. Okay. I, I don't like a GoFundMe nipple. <laughs> Get do you have go funny testicles at the... I do, yeah. What one, it do? one looks like it's late to a meeting for the... <laughs> 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 but isn't always uh, one... Do guys uh, have go funny testicles? I don't they're think all so. funny. I, yeah, yeah, they, no, they're not. Well, they're, they're, they're hideous looking, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they're... It is a bummer, ladies. Sorry for our balls. <laughs> Women always uh, have one, uh, one, one boob that's bigger than the other. Do you guys have one testicle bigger? I don't one so. occasionally one will hang lower than the other. Really? Yeah. Almost my, always. My buddy <laughs> called it the juggernaut. <laughs> right. the, I'm sorry, the juggernaut is what he called <laughs> the one that hung. I think if you're right-handed, your right boobs larger. I think. Yeah. No. Nope. Yeah. You know, once again, I think we're off topic. Yeah. Not in my sure. case. Is your right? Is your right-handed and your left boobs bigger? Yep. Josh, you want to take care of It has of something to do with sleep. Also, I've heard sleep, what side you sleep on. No kidding? That's, really? Yeah. I don't know if it's true or not. But, I huh. haven't heard that. Huh. Okay. Well, um, not everybody's was like Do that. um When ladies get uh, the uh, implants, do they deliberately have them evened out? or do they? I'm sure they do. Do they like to have them a little closer to nature? I'm sure they have them you know, evened out. Make this one PSI 70, this one PSI 64. <laughs> <laughs> PSI. <laughs> Is that how they do it? Isn't it? Yes, I yeah, think that's, that's right. exactly we, how they You know do how you it. go up and feel your tires? When yeah, I was just doing, yeah, just doing just... it yesterday. And you know how you uh, keep your home safe? Uh, how do you do that, Peace chick? of mind with Simply Safe. The design it yourself, do it yourself home security system. And now Simply Safe has something brand new and revolutionary. It's called Home Monitoring Innovation Live Guard Protection 24 7. Only from Simply Safe. Designed to help stop crime. In real time. Now, if an intruder breaks into your home, Simply Safe professional monitoring agents can actually see, speak to, and deter them through Simply Safe's new smart alarm wireless indoor camera, stopping them in their tracks. 24 7 live guard protection made possible by the new smart alarm wireless indoor camera. Available with Fast Protect Monitoring Plan, it's the only indoor camera that can trigger the alarm and instantly deter intruders, intruders with a built-in siren. Install your way. Do it yourself in about 30 minutes or have a Simply Safe expert set it up for you. That's available. Either way, it's oh so easy to protect your home. And for a limited time, get 20% off your new system when you sign up for Fast Protect Monitoring. Visit simplysafetom.com right now before you forget it. That's simplysafetom.com. And remember, there's no safe like simply say read the reviews they're terrific uh real quick i want to remind everybody that we've added a second show on the evening of friday november 17th at the north star mohican casino resort in bowler wisconsin oh wait a second oh nice uh details can be found uh, on the bob and tom social media platforms and at the north star mohican um casino resort uh website so uh it's a uh, very exciting Sold out of the first show that night. We're doing a special live show there that morning. Details and all that stuff is coming up in a few minutes. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, don't say we didn't warn you.
the steroid era is about to start entering the Hall of Fame. I think so. It might what? happen. Let me grab that. Ramble, okay. Hello, Bob and Tom Show. The Bambino, the Hall Sultan of-, of SWAT, here in the Hall of Fame, right? Sure is. Yeah, sure, Dad. You know, we don't get the best reception up here in heaven, so let me get this right, Dad. I heard we got a pudgy old bag named Rains headed to Cooperstown. <laughs> yeah. Three, three uh, well, never mind. I, why bother? <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, you're they've lowered their standards. I knew it was bad when Cobb didn't go to bed for the last two days and still washed his sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, <laughs> oh! Hey, Dad. Back in my day, if you didn't hit at least 600 home runs and bang twice as many dames, you didn't stand a chance. And how? <laughs> now they got these steroids we hear about. <laughs> Hell, all we had was yellow fever, polio, and warts. And that's just what they put in the hot dogs, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, the train's leaving. We got giga water in the box of stogies. I'll see you in Cooperstown. Uh, you know, it's funny you mentioned and... Giant because yes? a colleague of mine, Tony Robbins, wrote Awaken the Giant Within, mm-hmm. Bob. Uh-huh. And if we have time, I'd like to explain the difference between me and Tony Robbins, one of the most successful. I'd love to know. A couple million well, dollars? Well, no, <laughs> not really. You know, Tony Robbins wrote a book, as you know, called Awaken the Giant Within. Uh-huh. sold over 20 million copies. Right. And in this book, Christy, Mr. Robbins postulates, that means theorizes, mm-hmm. uh-huh. that everyone has a giant within them just waiting to break out and do fabulous things. Well, I think that's a crock of, you know what I mean. <laughs> I think if you feel you have a giant within you, you're probably constipated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My new book, Meet Me in the Middle, <laughs> is an answer to Zig Ziglar's See You at the Top. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. See, I think we are our own worst enemy. And the sooner that people realize that in the success world, we are our own worst enemy. Our middle name should be Versus. <laughs> I don't believe, and I think Chick would agree with this, success is not something we reach as a final destination. Success is like an illness, isn't it? We have bouts of success, episodes of success, uh-huh. and then we fall down and flounder some more. Mm-hmm. And my book shows you how to take advantage of of those times you do succeed and uh-huh. parlay those up and there's a reason why I'm able to drive a 1987 Cadillac Fleetwood. <laughs> <laughs> I have three yeah. cars, two of which are running. <laughs> Morgan Freeman reading Little Miss Muffet sat on the <laughs> eating her curd and whey. <laughs> Along came a spider. <laughs> it's too good. It's perfect, man. I would, can you do Liam Neeson doing one. Three blind mice. <laughs> <laughs> See how they run. <laughs> what are they running from? <laughs> I am dying. <laughs> a man who's kidnapped my daughter. <laughs> Right. Do you have any special skills? I don't know who they are. <laughs> I don't know what these mice want. <laughs> but if they're looking for some cheese, I'll tell you this. I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm, on. This. I'm loving this. <laughs> Pacino you know and uh, Hickory Dickory? Skills. Hickory Dickory died. <laughs> <laughs> the mouse ran up the clock. <laughs> the clock struck three and all went wee. <laughs> that can't, that's wrong. <laughs> Rub a dub dub. Three men in a tub. <laughs> <laughs> what were the three men in a tub doing? A butcher, a baker, men in a tub. and a candlestick maker. <laughs> <laughs> I know who you three are. <laughs> I know what the three of you do. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you this. <laughs> this bathtub doesn't have a lot of time. <laughs>
Uh, let's go to the phones and uh, just go to the phones, huh? Good morning. You're on the program. Uh, hello, Mr. Uh, Mr. Insinuation. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, I have a... Uh, got a... Got a... Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's with my <laughs> wife. Okay. And, well, she... Uh, she's not letting you... You know... Or, she, or she's not giving you... Well, yeah. Uh-huh. And, uh, oh, boy. You know, I, I was wondering how she's, long that would... She's not doing the... Uh, yeah. And okay, I, okay, okay. Uh, have you tried... <laughs> Yeah, we did that. Okay, okay, but have, <laughs> but have, you, here, have, have you tried this? Uh, no, we haven't. Okay. Mr. Now, I. have you followed, now if you tried that, follow it up with one of these. <laughs> okay. And then immediately after that, give it one of these. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Well, hello, Chick. Hi there with her uh, actual honest leopard skin scarf she's wearing. No, it's wearing. not. My God. Actually, uh, uh, skin yeah. alive Yeah, you have here. to really skin it's it thin, thinly, too. Thin. Yeah, because it's silky. Thin, <laughs> thin, thin, thin. <laughs> and look, it's got swirls on it. Oh, oh, it does. Yes, it is thin. It's almost as thin as the toilet paper here. Ooh. Yes, I need a toothbrush just to get the stuff out underneath my it. nails. I, <laughs> There's a uh, rumor... <laughs> That we're getting a new toilet paper dispenser. I don't want to get anyone's hopes up, but there's there's oh, work really? going on behind the scenes. What happened to the stick with the the monkey? The monkey. monkey I thought was that was in the, the mailroom. In the mail room. Uh, actually, I've been told that that's been moved. Oh, really? It's no longer there. Oh, wow. I, I know. Could we use that again just and get some decent whatever? Well, they have those stand-up ones you can buy for like 14 bucks. Do you want me to go get a couple? I'll do that. I don't well, mind. Well, we'll see. It sounds like somebody's on it. All right. Let's move forward here. What, what we... happened to our TV show, Monkey Butler? What happened to that? <laughs> that was a million dollars. That was, uh, I, I will volunteer to be the showrunner and <laughs> the next door. Why don't you be the uh, show check writer? What do you think? No, you sell it to somebody, and then you go in and write it, and they they pay you. See? Uh, I don't think we're going to get that made these days. What? When? Oh, well, the damn strike. Yeah, well, as soon as the strike's over, uh-huh. you and me are going to go. Uh, with CGI. Well, I, think it's the, I think it's the monkey that's the problem. Well, with CGI, though, you could have a monkey as a butler. Absolutely. If, you, if, you, if you've seen. Paddington. Paddington. Uh, or yeah. Nope. Amazing. <laughs> uh, no. Well, Paddington, there are talking bears yeah. in England. Yeah. That's the only. He's very polite. Yeah. Only explanation. So he's annoyingly polite. He's I, I so sweet. I see him get uh, a little rude every now and again. Here's, by the <laughs> way, here's a suggestion. We were talking about the gurning championships, yeah. which is where you make these hideous faces. And <laughs> obviously, people that have dentures are at an advantage because they can squinch up their faces. And right. It's pretty. Some of these photographs are disturbing. Someone suggested Christy Lee could win. Just tell her she has to eat a gallon of mayonnaise. Oh. oh look at that. Yeah, yeah. see? She gurnied up. <laughs> there you go. Ugh. What about the ugliest women? <laughs> What's the ugliest O face you've ever seen? Well, this. Is this <laughs> ugly? <laughs> uh, no, uh. That, that just looks like you've got some weird tick. Do um, you know what your O face looks like? I don't, but I will oh, record he... myself next time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, pardon me, <laughs> pardon me, ma'am. I have to have this running. No, you won't be in the. T- it's strictly me. Uh, Does that, will you hold my phone for me? Could you hold this? Up? Do I think about I'll, it? I'll signal when I'm ready. I don't think about it. How no. about smells? What? A random smell during uh, intercourse. What kind of random well, smell? You know, I don't know. An are you asking if you make a face? You create you... one, or are no, you? No, no. What happened to the sports game? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, could we what move on? What are you on? talking about? I guess I don't know. <laughs> Oh. Sex has a smell. You can walk into a room and go, "Oh, somebody just had sex in here." <laughs> right. But you know, when you're in, when you're one of those people, it doesn't smell bad at all. Yeah, right. You don't Do even random notice. noises bother you, chick. Just uh, like uh, you know, like help. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, now I'm tired. This is, wow. not, this is <laughs> not consensual. You know, stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> she's well, very, <laughs> she's very aware and, and articulate. Yeah. This is not consensual. <laughs> <laughs> not crying or anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Huh. Wasn't that the name of John, Josh's backup band? The, the Consensuals. Consensuals. Yeah. I love that band. <laughs> I know. I know. They you are good. Stupid world record. A dentist from Georgia has broken the Guinness World Record for the largest collection of toothpaste tubes. Gotta love this. <laughs> no, you don't. Have you seen the this picture is of this ridiculous. guy? Oh, it's great. Um, I, uh, Tom will ask you, uh, are they filled or are they empty? They are filled, primarily. Oh. All right. And I, so from what I hear, these uh, tooth... <laughs> these, Yes. These what, what are, yes. What, what, the toothpaste tubes are toothpaste what? Toothpaste tubes. <laughs> the toothpaste tubes are in mint condition. Oh. 
Are they? <laughs> I can't that is so say close that. to being hilarious. <laughs> no, it's not. There's a picture of this guy. He's with his main squeeze. I, <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Main he, squeeze from the bottom, of he's course. He's got a bunch of them. <laughs> Keep going. No, no. no, no, no I, think, I think we've hit the crest. Of the <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Okay, thank you. Uh, Ace is our cold gatekeeper. <laughs> no, I, stop it. Stop well, it. Certainly my aim in sports. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> now, do you, do, do, you, do you guys rotate? Toothpaste? Toothpaste? No, huh? No, you Sensodyne all the time. Oh, not me. I got it all. What do I get? I don't know what you I You use natural tongs. No, I don't. Something. No, I, I uh, right now I'm, on, I'm doing a crest? crest thing, then I do oh. Colgate, then I do Sensodyne. I, I'm I a use big all Sensodyne person. I have it. Brand loyal. I have it set it up. I've, uh, an Amazon, Amazon I, man sends it to me. I, I don't know what do you, oh, Those just, subscriptions, do you ever find you're like stockpiling a bunch of stuff? And oh, you're, yeah, it's really cool. Right? Yeah, I look really, really prepared. <laughs> I don't like I hate those things. Oh, I do too. I, I have to. It. I have to no. cancel them all the time. You can pause. You can just say, right. "Hey, pause for a pause. second, and then no, you, no, no. They're running your life. Then they you know. get caught up, and then no, the government has a thing. Oh, look, it's uh, we got uh, Crest Four Thousand. Oh, that's Josh Arnold. Yeah, yeah. Once again, it's unbelievable. Uh, he's got the same pattern. When we decide to take him out, we know exactly where he's going to be. You know, Tom, you are joking, but I, <laughs> I have sat and thought about stuff like that. <laughs> No, I, I, I mix it up. I buy. I'll. I've probably got four different ones in my drawer Are you right serious? now. Serious? Yeah, absolutely. Why is I am that? currently mixing it up because I'm going through all the samples that the dentists have oh. given me over the last oh. two years. And I went before I buy any more. Well, I'm using you, all of these. You tight one. I know. I am being a, a bit of a tight one. But hey, what am I? I my know. only problem with the subscription service from Amazon is uh, the the toilet paper in my garage. I can't. I can't park my car now. Oh, because you have so much of it. I just can't really. There's no room. I got an idea. You were just bitching about the toilet paper here. Why do you bring that on in? No, no. Then it wouldn't be mine anymore. (laughs) Ah, yeah, that is the problem with sharing. Come on. He doesn't share. We know that. (laughs) So could we get back to this great world record? This guy has the most toothpaste tubes. I sense Ace has a question. I was just going to say, don't you want us to think of you when we wipe our our butts? Bottoms? Ass? He wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Josh. What? What? Did if when say? we're, uh-huh. well, you know, dealing with things like poop, <laughs> our, our bee holes. If yeah. we should be thinking of you, you know. Yeah. Thank you, chick. Yeah, I was thinking of chick. I was thinking of chick, so I gave it an extra little, little, little twerk, if you will. A pinch. I kind of kegled and dove at the same time. <laughs> so this guy has a lot of toothpaste, huh? A dentist yeah. from Georgia broke the Guinness World Record. Largest collection of toothpaste tubes, and these are filled, evidently. Dr. Val Kolpakoff owns a total of 2,037 different tubes of toothpaste. Whoa! 2,037 different. Wow. Tubes, are these different brands, or just the tubes are different, or what? Yeah, are... different brands, I'm gathering. probably di- You can probably have the same brand if you have different sizes, I'm guessing. His favorite toothpaste tubes are a set of three... Oh, for God. ...whiskey-flavored toothpaste, rye, scotch, and bourbon. No, no, uh, boss, I swear, it's my toothpaste. Uh-huh, and for, the, for the true alcoholic <laughs> that is concerned about his gums. <laughs> Those were manufactured in the 1950s. Okay. Wow. He kind of looks like a guy who would have the largest toothpaste collection. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, <laughs> he seems like a guy who talk like this. Yeah, doesn't he? Just, silly. Yeah, silly you man. come in and look at my toothpaste tool? Hopefully there's a woman out there who has the world's largest floss collection, and we can get these two together. Oh, wouldn't that be wouldn't something? Oh, my oh, Lord. The time. rye, scotch, and bourbon toothpaste has 3% alcohol. <laughs> wow. It does? No wonder yes. he likes it. Yes. I, I can see where that didn't take off. You're not going to get four out of five dentifrists. What is it? Dentifrists? Dentist, D- dentist to approve. What is it? What is, what is a decay preventive dentifrist? Right, but yeah. this is... <laughs> <laughs> four out of five alcoholics. <laughs> say this, is a, this is a liver preventive dentifrist. <laughs> uh, his collection features toothpaste from Japan, China, India, Korea, and Russia. How about that? He estimates the value of his collection to be over $30,000. What? Man. Now, here's something really cool. If you, if you look at some of the pictures, um, he, there's a toothpaste called Vote. There's a Chloraceum, which sounds more like a douche. There's Lustrux. But what I like down in the lower left, it looks like the uh, Gillette Foamy uh, canisters. Uh-huh. 
uh, what is what is it when they have shaving a, cream? Yeah, it looks like a shaving cream canister with toothpaste in it. Wow! But not the kind you push down. It's it's obviously got aerosol in it. Oh. Snow White is the name of the toothpaste. Oh, mm-hmm. really? Mm. There's also Fomets. <laughs> now, Fomets sounds like a birth control thing. It does. You know, insert the Fomets, you'll be fine. The doctor is also fond of a rocket-shaped Orbit dental cream from the 60s, which came with instructions to mail 25 cents to rocket fuel to launch the empty container into the air. Whoa. Another of his <laughs> peculiar toothpaste is a wasabi-flavored one. Is yeah. that right? Val says his rarest item is a tube of Brenner's toothpaste. There is no such brand, he explained. It was made specifically for the series Prison Break. It was used with phosphoric acid inside the tube to corrode the pipes, and that would help them to escape prison. Huh. Mm. All right. Some of Val's tubes come from companies which you wouldn't normally associate with toothpaste, including crayon-shaped tubes created by Crayola and tubes created by the tuna company, Stockist. Ah, interesting Geeks. collection. Do you suppose there's someone who's done the same thing for hemorrhoid cream? It could be, yeah. Do you think? I bet there is. But that's a specific... <laughs> Hoarding uh, uh. hemorrhoid. Would they be known as a prep hr <laughs> Have you ever... Uh, that, be, uh, that is that is so fine of a joke. That <laughs> oh, you didn't yeah. even get a chuckle from... Ch- you see, they're preppers. I have not, ch- uh, I have not uh, had to... Uh, Use a hemorrhoid cream. Yeah, knock wood. I don't know. I have. I used it because I didn't know if I had hemorrhoids or not. What the future holds. But there was a significant issue. There was a ton of itching, and I went, and I bought Preparation Edge. Oh. But I felt like I was, too, this was like 10 years ago. Right. And I was like, I'm too young to be buying, and I wanted to go back to my old days of buying, trying to get beer, and just standing outside <laughs> and waiting for an old guy to walk yeah, by. I'll give you 50 hey, bucks you if you a, buy the Prep H. Yeah, prep H for me, I, yeah. They do have, I don't know if, I don't know anything about the market, but this is really the only one I could think of. If you asked me who makes hemorrhoid cream, they've done so much advertising. Yeah. I don't know of any others. Yeah. I, I just went prepared. I don't know either. Yeah. Yes. I heard someone having a discussion about this yesterday. And apparently. You heard someone? <laughs> yeah. And it was someone in this building, as a matter of fact. Oh. Were you yeah. eavesdropping again? No, no. We were discussing something else. And this guy all of a sudden, he goes, yeah, I have the roids. I had the, yeah, I mean, it happened. Do I guess they, they go away or do well, Sometimes they, they have they to can. go in and cut them off. Sometimes. Yeah. But sometimes you can push them back in. Sometimes I had a friend who had them in high school, and they, they rubber banded them. They oh, yeah. They put tiny, yeah. like, oh. bands around them so that they eventually just fall off. See, oh, that, you know, that can't be good, right? No, you, know, you don't, you don't <laughs> pea shooter them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, brace yourself, Josh. A friend of ours had hemorrhoids. Oh, yeah. Go right ahead. I just thought of the story yesterday. Mm-hmm. Male, female, male. male. Um, uh, the short. The reason I thought of the story yesterday is there's a frozen hot dog in the. Have you oh, seen that? Oh, this. Yes. Oh no. Yes, yeah, a friend of ours um, uh, had had been advised by his uh, physician to uh, soothe his uh, itchy and hot roids <laughs> with uh, with a frozen hot dog. That's descriptive. So he would uh, keep one. And I, it's my understanding he wouldn't actually insert it, more the kind of cradle it in his gluteal cleft. Okay. If I understand. Uh, are you sure? Or at least just press it. Yeah, press in any event, yeah. uh, they were gone on a tour. Uh, and he had someone staying in his house. He got back and someone had eaten his hot no. dog. I, 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 I don't. Boy, I, I don't want to believe it. No. <laughs> and that someone was Richard Bowden, oh. who the brilliant ate guitar player. the hot dog, or no? no who okay. left it for wrong, his right. friend? Oh. Uh, it's had had almost like the story about God when eating chicks dog peanut butter. I was just thinking of that. The yeah. one specifically marked dog on it. Had dog on the on the on the lid. Had you feel the, the you lid. fill the Kong ball with that peanut butter. Yeah. Uh, Man, it, they love that yeah. stuff. Uh, what else is happening in sports? Uh, we've got a dog story. <laughs> and Gus, the Australian Weimaraner who plays the paper towel cardboard tube, introduces all of our dog stories. <laughs> Thank you, Gus. Now, we have to explain. This is a real dog. You, and re- he really does make this sound. It's so yes. funny. Evidently, he goes, he sits on the couch when he wants to play his paper tube, <laughs> and his owner gives it to him, and he goes to town. <laughs> Uh, and this is another, another world Stupid record. Stupid world record. Oh, one of my dogs, one of my puppies. Uh, Aussie, that's yes. what we call him, an Australian shepherd named Daiquiri, has broken a Guinness world record. They named her Daiquiri because she, 
She's an alcoholic. Oh, that's oh. a shame. <laughs> well, her, no, her, her owners are. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Zachary. Oh. Didn't you have a dog named Gilby? Is that you? No, no, I had a guinea pig named, named Gil Gilby. It was Gilby. named by my dad's friend who... <laughs> Functioning alcoholic. <laughs> you like Jim, Jim a lot, right? You Jim like the gin. Uh, an Australian shepherd named Dakery broken a Guinness World Record by stealing socks from people's feet. Dakery, Taking them right off the feet. Dakery claimed the title for most socks removed by a dog in one minute with 21 socks. So people just sat there with their feet out with <laughs> wearing socks? The attempt involved several women. Oh. <laughs> Seated in a row with a foot extended so Dakery could pull off each woman's sock with his mouth. I, 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 I could, this I dog could this um, has a number oh. of world records and can do incredible tricks. Give me a shot. Beautiful dog. Bro. Really? <laughs> Screw it's that dog. Beautiful it's dog. Oh, there, is there, they're brown in it? Are they, uh, a kind of a gray and white. Does he have the blue eye? I don't yeah. like the Australian oh. children with the, with the blue eye. I'm and trying to do a gross character over here, and you guys are talking about the color of the dog. So cute. Josh, <laughs> you'd like this because... I'll put my whole your whole foot in my mouth. <laughs> Thank you. There Josh, we go. Josh it's a, it's a, chairs are lined up. Gorgeous women are sitting in them wearing short shorts, and they each have one sock on. I see. And the dog just goes down the line and pulls the socks off. This there is a guy right now cranking it off to this. Oh, thing. he couldn't. He can't wait. This to. is a, oh. a foot fetish's dream, especially if you. This and the dog is just beautiful. It's just a gorgeous dog. I, Aussies are great. What yeah. a weird thing to train so your dog smart. to do, though. Are you? Is that uh, the audio of the video we're listening to? Oh, is it? Is, is it playing? I'm, I'm Something, not. Something's yeah. playing. Okay, I don't know what that is. Sorry, must be a leak. Uh, <clears throat> oh, well, that uh, Q speaker. Well, not, no, it's not. Uh, Oh, sorry. Well, you couldn't get it turned off. Well, good for uh, Daiquiri. Yeah, right? Cute little doggy. Well worth seeing. Congratulations. Uh, more sports coming up, including a look at uh, Kirk Herbstreet's schedule for this weekend. He's a good father and a uh, college football broadcaster, and he's quite busy. We'll talk about it. And also, uh, Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. Are oh. they... Are they doing it? Are they I talking wish about they would this just on? Just do it so we can talking, quit talking about it. About this on like like Sports Center. Yes, absolutely. they are absolutely. absolutely. He was on Pat McAfee yesterday. It's, it's okay, Taylor. Right. It's Taylor Swift for God's sake. She's everywhere. Okay, and they're calling him the tra trailer. Okay, once again like Benifer, <laughs> right? Okay. Or, or or as I said earlier, Ava Braun and, and Adolf Brittler. <laughs> He, he really, Boy, he's jumping down that again. He really likes Honey, you'll see. Wait, I'm trying to do a German accent. Well. Yeah, well, you, you know. see what they call us? How cute. Britla. You get it? It is a fun couple of 1941. I said, Ava, do you get it? Don't make me yell. I don't eat meat. Uh, uh, you I know wanna... why uh, he couldn't, uh, Hitler couldn't drink, you know that? Well. It made him mean. No. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, let's see now. Oh, um, God. Now he tied his shoes right. And little uh, Nazis, 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 right. Nazis, yeah. Okay, um, I, I want to remind everybody that the humor will be much better oh, yes, uh, I can only get when we get to the North we Star Casino. Uh, we have something prepared. Uh, the, the North Star Mohican Casino Resort in Bowler, Wisconsin. Second show added, by the way, Friday night, November 17th, featuring... It's gonna be this is gonna be a great show. Pat Godwin, Jeff Oskey, Willie G, Josh Arnold, and some surprise guests. And uh, if you want information about the second show, it's just has gone on sale. Uh, North Star Casino Resort uh, slash Entertainment. First show sold out, so you might want to get on that if you want to see the show. Should be a lot of fun. By the way, we are doing our morning show live from there that particular morning, Friday, November 17th, with the band, with the Bob and Tom Horns, sometimes called the Brass to Mouth Horns. And uh, we're coming right back. We've got some really cool stuff in the news, including Ancient Man hmm. and uh, Construction. Uh, this is really cool. One of the oldest buildings ever discovered. Wow. Yeah, and I still think the contractor ripped them off. No. <laughs> uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob. Screen Door Productions presents A Day at Fergler's Hardware, Part
It's Josh, and of course... Hi, Chick McGee, everybody. Your chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg for Bob and Tom and Big Green Egg. Each week, someone will win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. It's the Bob and Tom Show Big Skin Pick, empowered by the Big Green Egg. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest on the computer. And... <laughs> Is that where you go? Are we eligible? No works. matter what is going oh on. Oh, my God. It, the mom had the baby. You hold it. Oh. Once again, Josh, <laughs> single. Angers and America. 50% of our audience <laughs> mad. Shouldn't have got pregnant, bitch, oh. if you didn't want to hold the baby. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, this is comedian Sean Maury, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. We have uh, a guy that is, uh, I mentioned earlier, internationally famous for a little something. It's the only talk show devoted to the artistry of uh, the bass guitar. It's a little thing we like to call Bass Talk. Wow. It's the Bass Talk Show with Mark Christopher Roman on the bass. Uh, yes. Marcus, how are you, sir? I'm great. How are you? Good. Well, this bass player, he was having trouble finding a gig. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What a so, surprise. Yeah. <laughs> so he decides to take a part-time job in a funeral home. Uh-oh. Okay. So he's working with a funeral director, and they're late one night, and uh, a local guy named Stanley Smith had just died. Mm. And he's there on the table in front of him, and they're just amazed at this guy's certain body part. Oh. It's incredible. It's it, astounding, actually. Mm -hmm. It's bigger than any porno stars you've ever seen. Wow. So between the two of them, they decide this has to be saved for posterity. Mm -hmm. So they remove the body part. Mm -hmm. And they, well, who would know, right? right. right. So they remove yeah. it and they stick it in this great big glass jar mm -hmm. with formaldehyde. Mm -hmm. Well, the bass player decides he's going to take it home and show his wife. Mm -hmm. So he takes it home and he sets it on the table. <laughs> he says, honey, come in here. you got to see this thing that I just brought back from the funeral home. Yeah. So oh, she comes no. in and she takes one look at the jar and she goes, oh, my gosh. Stanley Smith is dead? <laughs> there you go, ladies and gentlemen. You can see why people flock to the airwaves yeah. to hear the fabulous show. <laughs> this is Bob and Tom 24-7. John Joseph is our guest. Uh -huh. I'm trying to figure out the words. Nobody, Dylan, do you know the words to Dylan songs? Not, Not a one of them. them. Here's every song ever written by Bob Dylan. Uh -huh. G, 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 Did I get them all? Did I miss any? Hey, you got them. Uh, Holy <laughs> mackerel, Andy. Is that really his voice? I think it is. Come on. You, you think when Bob Dylan was in kindergarten class, he was saying stuff like, he took my glue. Lord Coretta's a fine young comedian. Uh, are you a health yeah. guy? You run, you look very slender. And uh, I'm not a, a big health guy, although I'm healthy. I just uh, had a complete physical, and uh, unfortunately, I'm at that age where you get the real intense physical. No, yeah. yeah. You know, I hope I'm not sharing too much, but mm -mm. the doctor actually stuck a camera in my rectum. Oh. It wasn't part of any procedure. He just suspected that his nurse was stealing from him. <laughs> hey, it's comedian Royce. <laughs> Thanking yourself? Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. <sighs> There's Josh Arnold. Oh, my gosh, Chick. How the heck are you? Um, I'm a little sore. I don't know. It's just living, I think. I've, I've, I've come up sore. Just May living? I... 
Make an old man noise. In the words of Conrad Birdie, you've got a lot of living to do. <laughs> Conrad Birdie from As Bye Bye, Bye Birdie. Bye. Oh. oh my God! Come on, Ace, Ace you've sat in here. Well, I've got to get some fresher references. Uh. That's all there is to it. There's Ace Cosby on Chick, and here he is. Ace, it's worth a look. Ann Margaret is firmly no, no, it's, it's on the trenched in 1961. The, that the, the Ed Sullivan tribute with oh the great gosh. Paul Lind. When Paul Lind gets bitten by a dog in one of the songs, he makes a face that made me laugh so, so hard. I, I'm sorry. I, Paul well, Lind that tells you. <clears throat> that I tells, laugh so hard. That tells you everything you need to know. Paul Lind has a musical number. Mm-hmm. Okay. Kids. <laughs> What do you do with kids today? Kids. Chick kiss, uh, kiss was on uh, Paul Lynn Halloween special back in 1976. <laughs> is that on? I've uh, heard that I have to see that. Is that on YouTube or something? I'm sure it is. I'll do you own it? No. Okay. Well, you know what? I bet you do. You in probably got a record somewhere. One of the boxes there probably is the video. Tom, uh, hmm. did you know that I've already gotten Ace's Christmas gift? You have. <laughs> Oh. Been, actually, I got it like in uh, April. It's been in my closet for. I a got all your uh, Christmas gifts actually a couple days ago. What? Oh, wow. Yep, all set. Yeah. I don't have a Christmas gift yet. I'm usually done by now. That's because you <laughs> suck. I do. <laughs> Could we move on? I oh. we, no, we were we were talking about this guy. This great guy has the world's biggest collection of toothpaste. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, Those. we were. Let's re- let's return to that. <laughs> yeah, more <laughs> more to say about Dear it. Dear Bob and Tom. Uh-huh. <laughs> That dentist was originally collecting hemorrhoid cream tubes, but it was a real pain in the ass. Oh, well, thank God. you. Yes. Thank you very much. Let's talk about Kirk Herbstreet. Shall uh, we? His fall schedule is unlike anyone else in sports broadcasting. Perhaps, this reporter says, he took on too much. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, Kirk is 54 years old. He's an analyst, works for ESPN and uh, Thursday Night Football, uh, Amazon Prime. He's also doing College Game Day and color commentary for ESPN's top college football broadcast, in addition to the Thursday Night Football. He's also a dad whose son is one of the top quarterback prospects in college football recruiting class of 25. No kidding. <gasps> Chase Herbstreet starts for St. Xavier, St. X, in Cincinnati, and plays on Friday nights. Cool. Ergo, Kirk likes to be there for the games, and this week will be no exception. Wow. Uh, when the Saturday night game is not at the same location as college game day, it makes it rough. So here we go. Kirk will start in Nashville. That's where he lives on Thursday. From there, he'll travel to Thursday night football between the 49ers and Giants. Did that last night. Chase's football game tonight in Cincinnati. The Cincinnati College game day on Saturday morning at Notre Dame in northern Indiana. And then on Saturday night, LSU and Arkansas play football. He's got to go do that game. And then also, uh, he has to... Go back home. And he puts this up on his Instagram. Another awesome week coming up for football, NFL, college, and even high school football Friday night. Appreciate everyone involved in making this happen. So he has some private jet or something. Yes. Yeah. Is, yeah. Uh, here's uh, how far Kirk uh, travels in terms of distance. Nashville to San Francisco, 2,300 miles. San Francisco to Cincinnati, 2,300 miles. Friday night after his son's game, 200 miles. Cincinnati to South Bend. He'll probably... You think he'll fly that? I, eh. I don't know. Uh, it'll be three or four hours. Saturday afternoon, college game day, South Bend to Baton Rouge, 822 Why miles. <laughs> and Baton Rouge back to Nashville, back to home. 469 wow. miles. There you go. Yeah. What do you think of that, Tom? Couldn't be more bored. Oh. No, I think he's not bored at all. I think he's having a hell of a weekend. No, he's busy. Oh, yeah. you, you. Oh, you. you. He's working oh. nonstop. I would have never. Congratulations. I would have never thought. Cash the checks. That's like you on the weekend. Yeah, it's, except I'm not in airplanes. Saturdays You're driving are, the whole Saturdays time. Saturdays are brutal. <laughs> Travis Kelsey has confirmed that he is uh, getting some time with Taylor Swift. Good. Good for him. Last week, rumors were swirling <laughs> that the uh, Chiefs tight end had been dating Taylor, the superstar singer. According to new reports, Kelsey and Swift have hung out a few times and are still in the talking stage, he says, but nothing serious has come out of it. Uh, According to reports, uh, Taylor and Travis have hung out twice. Nothing serious. She thinks he's very charming and they've been texting each other. (sighs) According to an insider, he's a little embarrassed at how much attention they're getting, but he has told her that he would love 
to continue seeing her. The source adds they are seeing where things go. However, the football star has some competition for the singer's attention, I would imagine. Yeah. Her friends are always suggesting people to set her up with. Ah. Bigger uh, stars. Well, I, I hope they're guess. enjoying themselves. <laughs> Bigger better, stars, you think? Better and, and, looking and, and, people. He had a really nice signing bonus, which he used to buy one ticket to her concert. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they're rather pricey and hard. It seems like you were affected uh, personally with these uh, ticket prices. Is that true? Uh, <laughs> ask anyone who anyone knows a uh, Taylor Swift fan. It's a bummer. How is there not a congressional hearing on what is going on with concert tickets? It, this isn't how it's supposed to be. No, I agree. It's crazy. Here is the line he used. Are you ready? Quote, I threw the ball into her court and I told her, I've seen you rock the stage at Arrowhead. You might have to come see me rock the stage at Arrowhead and see which one's a little more lit. Oh. And then you can see my Arrowhead. Oh. I don't know why he added that last part. <laughs> we'll see what happens in the near future. Travis that was said. his line? Not bad. A little, little not clumsy, bad. Little clumsy, not yeah. bad. He's he's a blathering idiot right no, there at the I, end. Sounds like fun. Uh, he's he's nervous. Fun. He didn't know. Yeah, it's cute. Cute. <laughs> it is cute. cute. All right, <laughs> leave him alone. Evidently, it's cute. I don't know why they don't go public with all this stuff. They're not. It, it's, it's Travis. It's not Travis like, yeah, he is. Travis just did. No, he, he finally had to answer well, a question about it. Who posted that though? Um, you mentioned it in your story. On a his source Instagram. says. A source says. I saw him interviewed on uh, live TV yesterday. And he oh, said, here you go. Here, here it is. He said it's Ace hilarious is, the coverage they're getting. Here, here, Ace has got the lowdown. He has yeah. not met her. He has invited her to a Chiefs game. Well, now. Oh, they still haven't even met? I, According the, to him. The, this and, has sorts to say. And the first line in this story today, Travis Kelsey has confirmed he is trying to have a shot with Taylor Swift. Well, so am I. And he, <laughs> thank you, Ace. And then he says, next, I, next. Told, I told her. He didn't say yeah, I, we hung out and met. I, t uh, I told her. I'm oh, out. Well, who knows? You know what? Until it's... Ace leaves, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you, Tom. Who's that? Oh, oh, there. Ace Cosby. Here he is with his joke of the Bow. day. Hey, chick. Yes, Ace. <laughs> Even after all these years, my girlfriend thinks I'm sexy. Oh, oh that's, nice. that's nice. Well, that's, that's very nice. Every time I walk by her, she says, what an ass. Now, Ace is doing the self-deprecating uh -huh. stuff. Uh, Not or, for long. Or as our friend used to say, self-defecating. Uh, we'll we're, we're coming back. We have um, belly button news. Very odd. Uh, a Benedict Arnold update. Um, there's an alligator in the bathtub and a flying cheese. It's all happening. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Think you know your pro football? Then play. We have the, um, my favorite former lumberjack is in the studio. He is comedian Greg Hahn. Hey, all right. Thanks for having me here. Hey, Chick, we're going to Vegas? We're going to, we're going Vegas. to Vegas. We're going to get a glass of crazy, and we're going to Vegas. A little blackjack? Yeah. Black blackjack. Black, hit me. I don't know how to play it. Just like yelling, hit me. Hit me. 19, hit me. Hit me. 27, keep, hit me. <laughs> Take the $700. What is this, a free rum and coke? How do you guys stay in business? <laughs> and I throw the dice. That's what I do. Hit yeah. me. I bring yeah. my own dice. I throw them in. Anywhere I want. <laughs> Greg Hahn is I here with the us. High limit restrooms. Oh, Greg is um, one of my favorite people. Uh, now, before we get to the action, you've never met Jessica before. Hi, Jessica. Isn't she Hi, pretty? Greg. Oh, beautiful. Nice blue eyes. Ten. Now, um, let's. Uh, not like you. You look a little bit different. You've What's got going kind on of, with me. We have kind of a lumberjack shirt on that I like it's very much. It's a summer. It's a summer theme. Yes, it so is. It's very nice. Yeah, yeah, it's very nice. Josh. Josh. Madman. Mm. Is that right? Now, <laughs> now no, like, uh, like your hair looks. Shows, yeah, what's going on with this? Your hair looks a little different. What I'm wearing it? a mood wig. Oh, mood okay. Wig. Nice. Oh, no. <laughs> you got a nice set of hair up there. Hey, what, what, what color is your hair today? It's a new shade of fake. Bullseye <laughs> <laughs> maple. Witness protection 22. Bozo 6. Bozo yeah. 6. It's a new shade of fake. Yeah, a little chocolate uh -huh. thunder. Yeah. What was it? Bozo 6? What'd you say? Yeah. Bozo 9. Bozo 6. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I like the mood wig. That would be it's, funny. It's, it's darker than normal. It is. Yeah, you don't it stick is. with the same fake color? No, I don't know. I, I glance at you it. You skip what's on sale? What is that? Uh, looks like you're doing uh, Elvis just before the end. Oh, and it does not. <laughs> a little Steven Seagal. Yeah. Not that dark. <laughs> well, it's good to see you, Greg. I got a story for you. Oh. 
Now, I happen to know a couple things about you. Uh, Marine Corps, what you were uh, exiled as what? A, uh, uh, captain by the time I got. Captain. Man, I was lucky to be in the Marine Marines. It was so great. Okay. Oh, yeah, you, you, you learn stuff. Like now if I'm on a bad date, I just call it an airstrike on my own position. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I happen to know that uh, you have a couple of hobbies. You're a drummer. Yeah, I like um, the drums. You like to play the drums. Uh, as you say, bringing the thunder, I believe. Mm -hmm. Right, that's with the double pedal. Uh, sure. For drums, you have the condo. You know you double bass uh, drum. You have the uh, up, uptown condo. Well, my nice. condo is very, you know, I designed it myself. A lot of ladies don't realize a single man designed my condo. Like the ping pong table faces the drum set. Feng shui! <laughs> <laughs> Greg, how's your dating life? You know, oh, are you kidding me? It's the best. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind being exclusive as long as I can date a few other girls. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. I like to get down on one knee. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I say, would you like to be worked into the rotation? <laughs> oh, bang! Thank you. <laughs> no, I'm dating a beautiful girl. She's lovely. Lovely. She's from the Appalachian Mountains. Oh. Yeah, yeah she's a professional clogger. Okay. <laughs> Not a toilet she can't clog. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Come on. Here. <laughs> Come on. Wake up, people. <laughs> well, that went from bad to worse very quickly. <laughs> you using the dating apps, Josh? I'm not, no. Come on, get in there. They work. It's a good time. <laughs> they do. For me, it's a bloodbath. <laughs> oh, really? In prison, yes. I approve everybody. You know what I mean? <laughs> Prosthetic head, yes. <laughs> Dude in wig, close enough. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> they don't get, they don't hit your back? <laughs> Bloodbath. Like them all. I like Josh's answer. They work. You don't yeah, want to date. I, I'm, not, I'm not ready. <laughs> and there's somebody in your house. Yeah. <laughs> Who wants that? Square, I want Square to Josh. tell Jessica how it works. How does it work? Hey, let me tell you something, Jessica. You play hard to get. I play God for life. <laughs> <laughs> I got stuff with a cold shoulder. It's called scorched earth. <laughs> She's right. I say, That's <laughs> the way he does it. <laughs> I stayed this girl. I say, you want to go to dinner? She said, I'll let you know a little later. So I'll let you know right now. I already ate. <laughs> <laughs> what a catch you are. You don't like girls to play hard to get? No, I don't, I don't tolerate it. You don't tolerate it at all. Mm, I'm out. Mm. And uh, now, what, what's your day like? You wake up. <laughs> you wake yeah. up at your. That's a great question. What is your day like? <laughs> you wake up at your. Uh, Compound, your home. Well, your... no, you live in a condo, right? You a... Yeah, I got the condo. I got the drum set. I got the ping pong table, the whole thing. I got the bird feeder. You want to go four to one, sugar to water? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, hummingbirds. Water to sugar? Yes, yeah, hummingbirds. Sit out there for about three, four hours. Mm -hmm. Watch the hummingbirds. Hummingbirds. Do you have a lot of furniture in your place? I'm Not a lot of furniture. Yeah, As a matter of fact, I'm going to change things around now. Oh. And I'm wondering, do I want to get like a full blown, unapologetic? Apologetic orange shag carpet? No. Okay. No. Well, that answers that. Okay. Okay. Good. Well, you your a... condo's tastefully decorate, decorated. Not really. It? It's like it's solid colors. It looks crazy. Oh. It's very. It's pretty. It's clean. Okay. It's bright. You but I might rip the clean? carpet out. Yeah. So, I keep so, things clean. so you wake up in the morning, look in the mirror, and say. What am I? Okay, right, right. Will, uh, compare myself to other guys. <laughs> yeah. Serious guys. They have wives. Kids and whatnot, I look at myself, what are you? Some kind of genius! <laughs> How's that bit go? I can't remember my bits. I gotta be doing the bit to remember it. You, get, uh -oh. you wake up every day and you go work out, you. I walk around, I, sit, I drink a little coffee, walk around. Uh -huh. You know what I do on a show day is I hold perfectly still, I put the air conditioner on frostbite, I don't move. <laughs> I never bring a date because I can't because I can't waste energy during the day. I right. got to go bananas at night. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? But if you bring a date somewhere, you're playing a comedy club, she's like, let's go to a water park or something. <laughs> I got to explain to her, I am the water park. Get in the park tonight. <laughs> hold still, be quiet. <laughs> AC, back down to 61. <laughs>
You know, but uh, thank God for the patch, man. <laughs> Saved my life, man. Yep. They got patches for everything these days, chicken. They got patches for us. You want to quit smoking? Mm -hmm. Birth yeah. control, they got a patch for that. Yep. Mm -hmm. If you got an eye missing, they have a patch yes, for that. Yes, they do. <laughs> yeah, and they on do. that note, <laughs> we're taking off. This is the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> Bob and Tom 24-7. It's not on air. It's online. Bob and Tom. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom. Welcome back to the Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. <laughs> ain't that right. Jessica Hooker joins us. Hello. Good morning, Jess. Morning. Good luck in here today. That's what you keep telling everybody. Well, you'll, you'll see. Don't get comfortable. You have an assignment in a second. Oh, There's, good. <laughs> there you go. There's Josh Arnold. Happy to intrude. He's at the <laughs> I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. Tom's terrified of him. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom. Miss <laughs> Hooker, would you mind coming over here for a second? Um, mm, <laughs> say no. A little, but I will. <laughs> um, because I, I, I don't want to get, uh... Uh, Hansy? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. There's, a, there's a photograph on this computer screen oh. over here. I want you to read. This is a this is a vanity license plate from Wisconsin on a nice Honda. Uh, as you can see, it reads. Would you mind uh, reading a it nice uh, exactly what it says there? The, the, it's it's several letters. The first two are M R. Sure. And, and then and then can you go what's it, right up to the mic? What does it say after that? Mister Fister. <laughs> M R space F S T R. Mister Fister. Oh. And that's loud. You know that? God. The man making that noise uh, has a son. A yeah, an adult and son. He, and he has to explain to him. Yeah. Yeah. He got a Tommy Award for that performance. Well, I'm sir. telling you. Uh, Mr. Fister. No Tommy Awards have ever been. You know, I'd I I love to know how much of a fan do you have to be at this show <laughs> to it get say, a Mr. Fister vanity plate? No, they don't. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean he got do, it from us. Do you think maybe he's Mr. Faster and he's driving faster than uh, oh, others? Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> or Mr. Fuster? <laughs> Tom only thinks one way. <laughs> Does it have any sort of way of telling what uh, date that is? Is there like a um, number on the line? Uh, not legibly. No. It, it's okay. a photograph of this guy's vanity plate. So, in, in, in any event, I, I'm assuming it's Mr. Fister. Sure, I would too. I saw a plate the other day, and it said F U Q U E. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. I mean, they, how'd they get that by? I yeah, don't know. Right? Now, the question really is how, but why? I. Well, well they it, was, wanna... it was on it was on a truck that you need a step ladder to get into. Oh, so. okay, sure. Was sure. it in this state? Yep. Wow. I, have a, I have a picture of it. All right. They want to they start something. Go <laughs> they ahead. They want to start something. Yeah. The only one in here who I think has a vanity plate is Christy, but yeah. that's on your little toy car. Yeah, it's called a Figaro. Because you have a little car called a Figaro. Uh huh. My girlfriend has one too, and hers is like a mint green color. Oh. So she just got a new one, and it's called really? Fig Mint. Do you, huh? <laughs> Do you guys sit around oh. and talk about your little cars? Yeah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> she was over yesterday. Yes, we had them parked outside next to each other. It's so. It's, oh, so it must is, be is, amazing. Is, is it F I G M I N T Fig okay. Mint? Because they wouldn't give me. Uh huh. Yeah. X C mint. <laughs> they wouldn't. X, oh, X, 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 X excrement. Oh. <laughs> wouldn't be. I can't believe they wouldn't give. Yeah, I can't know, either. Imagine. You know, one of the uh, of the many things Tom has ruined for me through his uh, quotes advice to me. I mm -hmm. uh, I really looking forward to making enough money so I could afford personalized license plates. Mm -hmm. I thought that would be very cool. And he took me aside and he goes, look, you don't want to get personalized license plate. Do you want anybody knowing what car you drive? <laughs> you know the way you are. You know the way you are? You want your car to get keyed? Is that what you want? <laughs> and I ended up not doing it. Oh. it? And, and you were right. My favorite was one of uh, our friends who's NFL quarterback had three RD space LNG. Oh, Third and long. Oh, that's cool. That's fun. That was cool. What would you have gotten, Chick? Uh, chick, C H I C K, or something. Oh, okay. I, I don't know if they would have given it to me. Right, but, but you would have gone for something just like that. that. Yeah. yeah. But aren't vanity plates like fifty extra bucks? Well, yeah. yeah. So there's, 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 they so, can afford it now. <laughs> <laughs> He's got Cutco Sisters money. That's Are right. you kidding me? I can afford it now, but I don't want to because I don't want to get my car key. Why don't you get a vanity plate that says Cutco? Oh, you think they'd pay for it? I think they'd at least provide you with some more Cutco. Uh, I don't think. 
think so. Yeah, who am I to, who am I to speak for them? There's some sales guy going, what the hell? I don't, my sample budget is $40. <laughs> he doesn't even go. buy a pair of those little teeny scissors. Yeah. Hi, Cutco, Chick McGee calling. Jo uh, Josh Arnold said. <laughs> okay, hmm. no, I'm sorry. Oh, have we completed our sportscast? Yeah. Okay. Did you beat the hell out of me the last break? You don't, don't remember that? <laughs> no. Uh, well, the Kirk Herb Street story put you over, remember? No, no. I do. I, I, I'm having it recorded, so when I go to bed tonight, I can... <laughs> you don't think that's even a, a little bit interesting, that he flies everywhere and does the games? Oh, no, I'm sorry. You said uh, just cash the checks, f uh, ride in the jets, and shut up. Yeah, that's what he said. That's what he said. I'd say shut up. He does a fine job announcing. I think it's great that his son is doing so well. I think it's great that as a great dad, he goes to the games. That is cool. That's for him. He's great. Sounds like a great guy. He's no, you know, Christy announcer. started this with the jets, the private jet. You're the one who opened this uh, can of worms. Well, how do you think he's going to get there? Well, I'm just saying, you don't know. He might be <laughs> flying coach. You don't know. He might be uh, riding a horse. From, uh, from okay, you're right. Hey, we got he a cool be. horse story. We do. Yes, we do, but we'll get to that in oh. a little bit. Yeah, you tell them, Christy. Uh, I don't know how to segue. Yeah, girl. <laughs> you never let me segue. I'm not letting you. Yeah. Right. Not passing you know, the ball. I, I can't believe this. Good for it, you, Spider. It's getting worse. I know. <laughs> He wants to control everything. I know. No, I was trying to... The, 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 and then when we do say something, he gets mad. I know. There's, a certain, mad there's a certain level of attention deficit disorder that permeates this program. Really? <laughs> and who is the... Well, and I'm, yeah. trying to, I'm trying to correct it. Oh, I, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm the Adderall of hosts. <laughs> really? <laughs> is that right? I'm not sure about that. Uh, That's how you see I'm yourself. the Focalin of... Uh, You're a, you know what, man? We, you you know right. what we haven't done? What haven't we is done? We've never actually tried just totally going with Tom's flow. So oh, maybe good. one morning... We should just to see. Agree how, with everything he oh, says. Oh, yes day. Just to yeah, yes. just a, a, a yes, yes day. Where yeah. he, I I will do my best from now on to do that, and we'll see how could, it goes. We'll, yeah. uh, could you get this going at my house? <laughs> I, dude, I've told My you. two little girls, just nothing but attack. Uh, not Daddy's slurping his soup. What? I just took one. It's, it's hot. I was trying to burn my tongue. <laughs> Tom, I, I, I've told you before, and I'll tell you again. If you want out, you just say the word. <laughs> you can get out. I know people. We can get you out. Okay, well, Christy, you do whatever you want to do. What story is no, tickling your fancy? No, no, no. No, 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 no guys, not? guys. It's okay. up to you. Oh, he, he, he suggested right. you do whatever you want to do. And here's what we're going to do. Yeah. It's a happy horse story. That's right. <laughs> That's not what we're doing. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is going exactly. I think, I think you should do. Uh, Christy, try doing the horse story. No. Like Tom said. No. Oh, she's not going to uh, Go play. do whatever you want, Christy. A new fashion trend in China. <laughs> Great as story. women wearing fake belly button stickers to make their legs look longer. The stickers are placed what? a short distance away from the wearer's real navel, which is concealed by a skirt or pair of pants, what? while the sticker's on view thanks to a crop top. Wow. This gives the illusion that the wearer's legs are longer than they actually are. The stickers are apparently going viral on Chinese social media, while manufacturers are struggling to keep temporary tattoos in stock. Some Chinese news outlets credited the unexpected popularity of belly button stickers to Chinese traditional medicine. Which states that the lower abdomen must be kept warm to preserve the overall health of the body? Okay, <laughs> this is these photographs are so bizarre, and they show they show these women lowering the waistline, and you can see the real belly button. Uh -huh. Yeah, and really. The other one is, in this case, it looks like it's four or five inches higher. Jeez, my torso is so short it'd be clipped in my boobs. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, they're wearing what do you, uh, the crop tops. So you right, can, oh. those are big. The idea is to show off your belly button but and th this is some what cultural thing about having a lengthy well they also say covering your abdomen is apparently good for your health but it would make you appear to look yeah, taller i guess you, didn't you say they do it to make their legs yes, long? yes they do it for that man, too uh, weird yeah um and they're at very accurate looking they're kind of disgusting looking they're rub on tattoos yeah Oh. Hmm. But it looks like a belly button? Yeah, but... They, uh, is, yeah, it like, <gasps> is it like a portable hole from the cartoons? It, oh, you can actually... Exa it it's, like exa it's like a wily e. Coyote. Yes. Portable hole. Oh, okay. God. That was one of my favorite gags of all time. I know. He put, <laughs> and and then, he put, put it up on the side of a mountain. It'll look like a train uh, tunnel. Oh, man. And then every time that the roadrunner goes through it, it yeah. goes through. Yeah. And then he tries it. It doesn't... Slams oh. against slams it. Slams into the I mean, there, you would never... I mean, it. you would never know. It, they, they look real from yeah. afar, yeah. Yeah. It's silly. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Son of a bitch. <laughs> now, if a guy did that, would it make his male member look longer? 
I, uh, would it make his male member look longer? Moving his navel? Yeah, if the distance from his navel to the uh, top of the... You'd have to have an any, not an Audi. If you have an Audi, so. you're, you're not going to be able to wear them. Hmm. Let me ask you this. How do they fit Mark Wahlberg with the prosthesis in Boogie Nights? Yeah, that's a fair... That's a, because yeah. that is a... Pro, and it's it is. That's a, that's a strong question. Probably, a, probably some kind of sleeve. Yeah. Like a and, and a sort of an adhesive involved there because he he had he, to probably be clean shaven and then yeah like a he pulls on it like when we use uh, uh -huh. fashion tape to yeah. like tape a dress to keep it closed oh. maybe it was like that I don't Do you know, know women did that well you can Taped see up it. their boobs yeah, but go but, but back to Mark Wahlberg <laughs> you can see the zip tie at the top oh. <laughs> if you slow the movie down no I don't know. this is really weird though and apparently as you said Chrissy there there's such a demand for these fake belly buttons that the factory can't keep up. Yeah. <laughs> so aren't, the, aren't the guys going to be wise to this after a while? Well, I don't think it has anything to do with guys. What do guys care? It's not like you're sticking it's your finger in the yeah, belly button. I, what are you, you doing? You ever had that happen? No. no. You dig that? <laughs> what the hell's no, wrong with you? Not, just like that a little, at all. little uh, belly button tongue action. You know, though. It sounds, oh. like, a, it sounds like a Josh thing. There's a, a guy. A Josh thing. <laughs> there's a guy. Oh. There's a guy out there right now saying, at last, they're on my thing. Oh. I put my tongue in the belly button. Here we go. That's no, aren't there people, isn't there a thing? Uh, at sporting events where they do belly button shots. Yeah, yeah, body shots are yeah. uh, definitely a thing. And so if you tried to do one with a fake belly button, it would just spill all over. Uh, well, yeah. yeah, or it'd wash off one of the two. Or when the <laughs> when the road runner would come up and do a shot, <laughs> it he, would work. It would work. <laughs> and then when the coyote would come up, he'd just bang his head against oh. your belly. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, I'm that's the late, latest from China. Coming up, really cool horse story, maybe, Christy? Yes. If you're in the mood for it, I don't want to... I will, let you, do, <laughs> I will let you do the horse story. I keep okay. thinking you guys are saying whore. Horse story? Horse story. Horse. <laughs> horses. <laughs> it's, and it's not just any horses. It's a, it's a Budweiser Clydesdale. Clydesdale. Go ahead and give it away. <laughs> Tell the whole story. That's not the whole story. <laughs> Is that uh, having trouble with its feed? No, or? no, it's a positive, fun story about the Clydesdales. Oh, baby, not baby about dog food? Baby no. Not about dog food. Not about no. dog food. <laughs> now, we have a story yeah, that you guys... Oh, look at that Clydesdale. That's 20 now, uh, pounds of Ms. Hooker, food. I know that you are a, you're a very fine cook. Okay, uh, yeah. And uh, we have a story about cheese you might enjoy coming up, I think. Love cheese. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, and uh, we have an alligator in a hotel bathtub. You know, I think my wife's trying to kill me. <laughs> why, why, why do you say that, Josh? Well, she put an alligator You're in my in bathtub. bathtub. <laughs> oh, and we have a, a slight update on the outhouse story from yesterday where the woman in Michigan dropped her Apple Watch accidentally into the uh, duty, whatever you, what do you call the place where the poop goes in it? In the outhouse hole? In yes, the, thank in you. The toilet. <laughs> the asshole. She, and then she, she, she went and down to get it. Hole? She went oh, to get it. No, and, no. and, yeah, we we found out the uh, a, little, a little bit more about that thing, Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, um, Chick McGee's had enough of this show, <laughs> and he's going to go home and be as calm and peaceful and happy. As possibly can. That's exactly right, because I, at my compound, I have the, I did it myself, and I designed it myself, my Simply Safe home security system and uh, you're going to get in right at, if you don't have it you're getting in at the right time because simply safe has come up with a revolutionary home monitoring and innovation that's called 24 7 live guard protection designed to help stop crime in real time now because of simply safe if an intruder breaks into your home simply safe professional monitoring agents can actually see speak to and deter them through simply safe's new Smart alarm wireless indoor camera, stopping them in their tracks. 24-7 lifeguard protection made possible by the new smart alarm wireless indoor camera available with fast protect monitoring plan. It's the only indoor security camera that can trigger the alarm and instantly deter intruders with a built-in siren. You can install it your way like I did, do it yourself, or... Uh, it'll take about 30 minutes. You can have Simply Safe uh, experts set it up for you. They'll do that for you. Uh, either way, it's easy to protect your home. And for a limited time, get 20% off your new system when you sign up for Fast Protect Monitoring. Visit simplysafetom.com. That's simplysafetom.com. And remember, there's no safe like Simply Safe. Thank you very much. Read the reviews. Simply Safe. It's terrific. When we come back, we have horses, we have Benedict Arnold, and more delights. This is the Bob and Tom Show. This is Bob and Tom 24 7. Comedy, guess, Bob and Tom exclusives. One, two, three.
for? Oh, you're gonna paint that barn tonight. <laughs> oh, down beside the lantern light. Oh, you're gonna finish all your chores, black bonnet girls. You make the Amish world go round. Hi, everybody. Chick McGee here from Bob and Tom Show. I want to tell you about the NFL season coming up. We got together with the folks at Big Green Egg, and each and every week, you're going to have a chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg during the Pigskin Pick'em program on the Bob and Tom Show. Five hundred and fifty calories per serving. Or if you need an extra boost to help support your wellness goals, why not try Protein Plus meals with 30 grams of protein or more per serving? This September, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered to your door ready in just two minutes. No prep, no mess. Head to factormeals.com slash bobandtom50 and use the code Bob and Tom 50 to get 50% off the code Bob and Tom 50 at factormeals.com slash Bob and Tom 50 to get 50% off. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. They're doing that nickname thing like they did with Benifer, right. Ben Affleck and Jennifer. And Christy, it turns out in her circle of friends, you're known as... Crandy. Crandy, Christy and Andy. Yes, it's Crandy. Yes. Yeah. Was, I, Godwin, what, what's your sweetheart's name? Was, I guess we'd be Padilla. Padilla? You guys oh, haven't asked me, but mine would be Jasterbait. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe that's why we didn't ask him. Uh, right, right. 
Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. This is Jim Gaffigan. It's the most outrageous video ever because it features real girls. And not just any real girls, but real girls on video going... Oh, yeah. <laughs> just the way you love them. Real girls on video going... Whee! All kinds of real girls on video going Whee! all across America. Real girls on video going Whee! features real girls. And each copy of real girls on video going Whee! features a group of loser drunk guys going. Whee! That's right. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hi. There's Jess Hooker. Hello. There's... Josh Arnold. Hi there. He's at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold, as busy as anything. Every time. Got some I, updates over here. He's like, oh, my God, I got to just grab something. So I'm busy. It's called preparation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I want to remind everybody that um, got some big shows coming up. This weekend, by the way, Greg Warren is at Zany's in Chicago. Guest sets from Willie G. So if you're up in Chicago, go see Willie and Greg Warren. That'll be terrific. Uh, also, just around the corner, Saturday, September 30th, Olympic Theater is the place. Cedar Rapids, Iowa is the state and the city. And it'll be Jeff Oskey and Pat Godwin. That's a killer show coming up. And then we added a second show uh, to our uh, special event happening in Bowler, Wisconsin, at the beautiful North Star Mohican Casino Resort. <clears throat> What do you what? mean? Did you say Bowler, Wisconsin? I said Bowler, Wisconsin. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hang on a second. <sighs> Thank you very much. So, if I had more time to prepare, if you weren't attacking me, I would have been ready for that. <laughs> uh, if you had gotten here on time, you would have been... Ooh. I apologize. I was dealing with... I was sanitizing something. Oh, okay. <laughs> what were you sanitizing? My coffee-carrying thing. <laughs> well, because, thank goodness. Because Mark touched it? <laughs> No, I brought mine over. Oh. The point is, it'll be a great live show. We're doing the radio show Friday, November 17th. You take time I, out to do dishes before you come back in here? <laughs> I when had you, the... You, you run to use the I bathroom. had the sterile wipes in my office. That's the... Okay. Uh, Friday, November 17th, North Star Mohican Casino Resort in... <clears throat> no, just... We got to roll with it, remember? Bowler... Wisconsin. Yeah. Uh, we're doing the show from there that morning, then that evening, a very special event. Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oskey, Willie Griswold, special guests to be announced. That's right. One show only. One show only. Nope. Night. Added a second show. What? You've got to be kidding me. Yeah. The first one sold out. This is great. So uh, for more information, North Star Casino Resort slash entertainment. Um, check the uh, I think various of social media. As in uh, just a big ATM. That money's up there waiting really? for me. That's uh -huh. right. I have to go pick it up. All you have to do is go get it. Yep. Uh, are you man enough to get it? Are Are you man enough to take this money out of the <laughs> casino? Yes. Is, that their, is, that, is that their new ad campaign? That's oh, right. Yes. Don't be a pussy. Oh, yes. <laughs> Come have some, uh, have why, some fun. Come see the show. The thing is... Call it gambling, okay? <laughs> We're going to have a good time. Now, uh, we have, uh, as uh, the aforementioned uh, Jess Hooker in the studio, and uh, she is uh, quite the cook, uh, borderline. Uh, can I call you chef? Um, no, I don't think so. But I'm watching the bear, and everyone is referred to uh, chef. Would you oh, care? Yeah, you. I work, oh, yeah. I, I work in a in a commercial kitchen, and See, there, uh, there. yeah, we all call each other chef. There you go. Mm -hmm. Say behind when you're behind. That's somebody. important. You don't want to. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to get. And you say corner when you're coming around the corner. That's also so you don't important. Run anybody. Yeah. 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 And I, when you say behind, is, does anyone ever do some kind of you know oh, wink God. wink, referring go. to the buttocks of the person there? I was going to say that when I'm out with my boys, you know, I'll I'll go yo behind. It's yeah, a, it's an ass walking by. It's unbelievable. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do that. Not all like the time. that. No, no, it's not no. like that. I thought you were to emphasize the B. Behind, behind, like behind. Yeah, that's how it's done. Um, well, we have Christy okay. Lee choosing her own news stories today. What do Anheuser you got? Anheuser Busch said it's ending the practice of cutting the tails off of Budweiser's iconic. Clydesdale horses. They cut the tails off? Budweiser has featured the horses with their um, white feathered legs and their ad campaigns for decades, we all know. But when a horse's hair, tail hair is cut really short, it's called, anyone? A bob. Docking. 
Bob. I would just say Bob's a good... A nice Bob. This process can result in parts of the tailbone being shaved off. Ouch. And it's long been under fire from animal rights groups. Oh, gotcha. In a statement, Anheuser-Busch said the practice of equine tail docking was discontinued earlier this year. A company spokesperson said, quote, the safety and well-being of our beloved Clydesdales is our top priority. So that's okay. a nice positive story. How do you feel about this joke? Uh, Anheuser-Busch, that's fine. Uh, how's your penis? <laughs> yeah, I like it. I'm, I'm on board with it. Never yeah. told it with such uh, <laughs> low volume and uh, no, lack just, of enthusiasm and subtlety. No, I enjoy the casual. Having a discussion. <laughs> yes, casual yeah. conversation. I'm not, I'm not performing. This is the way comedians talk backstage. Yeah, have you noticed there are certain people who pronounce it Anheuser Busch uh, in sports no, broadcasting? I've never, I've no. never heard that. No. Yeah, yeah. I think it's something you've made up in your brain. No, but, no. Okay. All right. Um, uh, uh, were you at the dinner where the guy told us the Clydesdale story? We were in St. Louis. I don't think so. With some friends. Uh, I might have been, but I wasn't paying attention. Anheuser Busch. And um, the one guy said, Were you there, Christy? No, but um, I've heard the story. The one guy said, I want to come back if if there's reincarnation, I want to come back as a Clydesdale. Yeah. Because they treat those horses better than any human being is treated on this earth. Right. Except for the tail docking, apparently. Well, yeah. that's but they're not doing <laughs> Shaving that. Shaving their right. tail bones, yeah. 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 Josh, you ever go to a bar in St. Louis? You're from St. Louis. Yeah. Big big Anheuser Busch town. Do you ever go to a bar in St. Louis, uh, drink a bud looking for a little tail? Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. 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 A, maybe a shave tail. <laughs> kind of what I like the shave tail, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, pre I prefer not I a, prefer no hair on my butt, uh, yeah. Bushy bee hole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You ever go into a bar and uh, look at a girl and go, Anheuser Busch, ma'am? Yeah, yeah, doing just fine, Anheuser Busch. Anheuser Busch, yeah. See, oh, when you fall in love with a girl who said that back to you. <laughs> be, be on the lookout for her. She's yeah. a keeper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, what else have you got? Well, what do you say? That? Never mind. Officials in Serbia say a lion cub was rescued after it was seen wandering on a local road. I, I, I have no trouble believing this. Serbia, in my mind, is just wild animals and chaos everywhere. <laughs> the Sonia and Mondic yeah. from a local zoo said the baby whoa, female... Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not discount... Mondic? I thought it was Mondic. Well, it's M-A-N-D-I-C-K, but he has a pronouncer as Mondic. Maybe I put that because I was afraid if... That was, I said if Mandic? She said, if she said Mondic, <laughs> you do that stupid anheuser Bush joke again. From a local zoo said the baby female lion was found malnourished and weak on the outskirts of Suba Tiatza. Suba Tiatza. So. Suba Tiatza. Local media said a resident spotted the cub on the road. Called police, took it to the zoo. Uh, they've yet to issue a, an official statement on the matter, but I did some further research on this, and uh, apparently it's uh, quite common in Serbia for there to yep. be wild animals being kept as pets. I told you. Mondik Police Department, uh, can I help you? Uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's like a Tiger King thing. Some moron yeah, wants exactly. to have a tiger. And then, but a little little baby little tiger. It's a little lion cub. Oh, oh sorry. It was a yeah. lion cub. But yeah, uh, and is the Tiger King thing finally gone away? Is yes. That, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, yeah. The, we're the first people to mention it. In the <laughs> okay. <laughs> Quite Years. some time. I think. Carol yeah. Baskin going door to door. Remember me? I used to be famous for I'm five looking, seconds. Uh, I'm looking for her to pass away anytime soon. Probably. Uh, we'll get that. Really? Story. Yeah. I want to know what, what really happened to her husband. <laughs> Come on. She definitely killed. Where are no, the podcasts on that? Come yeah, on. We need to get Todd McComas. He's an investigative reporter. Let him find her. Is that, is that guy still in jail, though, right? Or did he get out? Oh, no, he's still there. The Tiger, Tiger King? King? Yeah. yeah. He's having still the time there. of his life. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's the bell of the ball. Never been happier. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger King. Oh. Yeah, no, Tiger okay. King, a Tiger, Tiger King. Remember this? Oh, oh yeah. Tiger, King, yeah. Tiger, Tiger King. Do you remember this? Tiger, Tiger King, this? A Tiger, Tiger King. Tiger King, a Tiger, Tiger King. And... And then, of course, the sequel. Pussy King, Pussy, Pussy King. Pussy King, Pussy, Pussy King. Pussy King, Pussy, Pussy King. I like, I like the counter melody so where he loud. sings. So loud. It's offensive. It's too loud, you're too, too old. <laughs> well, yeah. Bring it down on your board just a tad. I can't hear anything anymore. <laughs> ah, wildlife officials have rescued a baby alligator from a bathtub at a resort in Florida. <laughs> Clatchy News See, reports. See, now, everything I know about Florida, there are just wild alligators <laughs> yes. Yes. everywhere you go. I'm calling in room 909. Yeah, there's an alligator in my bathtub. Yeah, yeah an officer with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission 
was called to the Grove Resort and Water Park oh, the Grove. in Winter Garden to help deputies with the alligator. According to an incident report, a 25-year-old woman told the officer she had, quote-unquote, borrowed the alligator from her former employer at Croc Encounters, a wildlife <laughs> park uh. in Tampa. She said she snuck the gator out of the park, took it to the resort where she and a friend were planning to stay for five days. The alligator was to be used for a birthday photo shoot. Oh, I see. It was remained. Uh, it was removed rather from the tub and returned safely to Croc Encounters. Well, that's not true. They eviscerated it and sold its organs on the black market. Oh, that's a shame. Why would they that's, do that? Those What's hotel it? bathtub stories. Well, they didn't pay off the, apparently the housekeeper to keep her mouth shut. That's what happened there's, here, right? There's a couple things I that would are think. for sure here. First of all, uh, she stole that alligator. Mm -hmm. And second, she did not pronounce the word borrow. She said, bar he didn't, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, he said, bar he didn't, put her in the tub. <laughs> gotta keep them wet or their skin will crack. Gotta stay wet. Don't you there. have to feed them? You can't just have an alligator sitting in a bathtub for a week. I think that's allig a baby alligator. Baby alligators are only like 12 inches, 18 saying, inches long. But don't they only eat like once a week or something? Or is that snakes? I don't know. I don't know. They're all the yeah, same. I'm not sure with gators, but snakes for sure. Right, yeah. yeah. Gator chow, is that what they eat? <laughs> I think mm. so. They probably have. Yeah, Clive kind of I'm yeah. sure they gator, have. <laughs> gator chow. I bet they do. Mm. Are gators jealous that the famous shoes are named after Crocs? Hmm. Hmm. We'll have no, to more of a philosophical yeah. The world may question. never know. Yeah. yeah. Think you on that, Josh. You're a smart guy. Are yeah. alligators jealous of crocodiles in general? Maybe. Aren't there things, there are things called gators, but those are, aren't yeah. there? Yeah. What are gators? They're, they're vehicles. A few things. Yeah, no, they're vehicles. They're vehicles. vehicles. Gators, yeah. gators are super cool off -road. Are they something you put over your legs, gators? Yes, they, um... Yeah, there is something, and I, there, some are, yes, there are. Yeah. I don't know what they are. Are those those things that hold up your socks back in the day? Oh, I think those are. Oh, those are garters. 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 Do you guys know how to tell the difference between a crocodile and an alligator? I love this joke. <laughs> uh, uh, one has a snubby toe, a, sn a stubby nose, right? One has a narrower, the crocodile has a much narrower yeah. snout. No, one um, you'll see later, and the other you'll see after a while. Oh! oh. It, was, it was a joke. It was a joke. After a while, crocodile. See, that's a perfect See delivery. Later. We were all stumped <laughs> that it was a joke. No. Unlike with Ace, you know, the joke is coming, you see. And it never gets here. It, it gets here. <laughs> uh, 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 Christy Lee is at the Bob and Tom News Desk. What else is happening? Thousands of residents in Missoula, Montana, were left without power after squirrels caused three power outages in two days. <laughs> Northwestern Energy customers temporarily lost power Saturday morning, Sunday morning, and again on Sunday evening. At one point, at least 15,000 people were affected. Northwestern Energy told Montana Public Radio that squirrels are to blame for each disruption. Well, it's easy to blame a squirrel. Well, they find them, you know. Yeah, uh, they yes. sure do. The one that causes the disruption typically is a black squirrel uh, because they get fried. <laughs> black the, and smoking. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. not the beautiful black squirrels you might see in northern Michigan. No, uh, no of course. Oh, of course uh, oh, yeah. But they're not really black. They're like gray, right? They're, they're black. Oh, they are? They yeah. are black. Hemingway talks about them. Oh, well, they're all over the place. I'm illiterate, so... Uh, <laughs> Apparently, a lot of the wiring, especially in cars, mm -hmm. they, it, I, I love when environmentalism eats itself. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, you can't use this certain coating. It's bad for the environment. And now squirrels eat the soy coating they put on. And now people have to spend real money <laughs> yeah. on getting the things fixed. Hey, I was at my local hardware store the other day. Why, oh, it's going to be a good store. Yeah. Why are all the cables locked up behind? I mean, they're all locked up. You have to ask if you what want cables? to. cables? Like wiring cable? Like. You like mean TV like and computer. HDMI, yes. HDMI cables. They were all locked behind big fence things. Huh? Is there copper in them? Oh, know. maybe. Or maybe they're know. a theft oh, item. Yeah. A good theft item. Hmm. That and razors. Cables? <laughs> sure, because you can resell those e so easily. Now that huh. and, that and Tide detergent. They lock up Tide. <laughs> Sometimes they have a that's cable going it. through all the. He handles. read a story that's, about that's that once. Says. I've yeah. seen it. No, like it's, it's five years ago. Yeah. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I, uh, no, no, no. It all depends on what part of town you're in. It's, it's a real and present I, danger. I was coming back from uh, one of my favorite restaurants, and I have to drive through uh, an a area. A bad part of town? Not your part of town, yeah. And uh, there was a guy on Sunday morning setting up a 
like five tables. All, I know exactly where you were. It was all detergent. Mm-hmm. It was all detergent. It wasn't it's uh, detergent. Like, yeah, yeah. And it, blankets and Elvis. Uh, they say uh, that uh, t- Tide is uh, like the number one mm-hmm. thing stolen. Really? Yeah. yeah. They sell them in like ten gallon buckets. Hmm. Seriously, I'm not making it up. Google it. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a thing. I'm a Tide person, by the way. I, I, I am a loyal I, I, Tide. I, I buy mine. Mm-mm. Hey, not uh, me. Josh. Not me either. Josh, you, I'm you going with a, the laundry sheets. Have you uh, <laughs> thought about uh, choice in laundry detergent? Do you ever uh, use uh, wa- wash your clothes in Tide? Of course I wash my clothes in Tide. It's too damn cold to wash them out, Tide. <laughs> You see, Jess, that was just like your joke. We didn't know it was coming. I liked it. Tiger King. And tiger, Tiger King. That thing's still going on? <laughs> <laughs> wow. And Belch's on the air. Makes, <laughs> makes an audio mistake. I thought I had my mic. Unbelievable. Uh, and, and Unbelievable. In the hallway, the, the, uh, the awards are falling off the shelves. Unbelievable. I thought I muted the mic. <laughs> Wait a minute, there it goes. <laughs> Just how much cheaper is the Tide on roadside? Uh, I don't know. I don't buy my Tide on the on the street. It's a, it's, <laughs> it's a really odd thing. and it's, It, it yeah. is odd, yeah. But yeah, there's a, a, a lot of places you'll go, they'll have that wire going through all the detergent. Here, let's see, if this, uh, Wake up let's see if this will work here, uh, Ace. Uh, go ahead. Uh, turn Great move here at the end. Have you seen this? Uh, no. There's Tom. He's trying to get me to I read a story. Yeah. <laughs> Hollywood put on his shades and said, last... If you have an hour this oh, week... Sorry. You can... <laughs> what the heck is that? I have told Stop you... Stop being good at his job. <laughs> Stop being good at his job. I have told you... Really, the Q circuit isn't muted on They're this They're supposed machine. to mute the Q circuit. I'm going to get Eddie to... Uh, uh, okay, now, I'm going to make you listen to this again because there's a oh, lot going he on. He talks over so the much. Whole... He talks over him all... He can't even listen. So much. <laughs> all right, here we go. Hey, Sparky, any day now. Oh, shut oh, up. You... <laughs> all, right, yeah, all right. We're all waiting. I feel like this is a dream. Oh. Here we have you go. seen this? Yeah. <laughs> Hollywood put on his shades and threw glass. If you have an hour this oh, week, sorry. you can... Sorry. <laughs> what the heck was uh, that? Listen how we react. It's just Tom you... being good at his job. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, apparently the cue circuit isn't muted on this machine. Oh, I yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. I... Even if it was a valid point, we were, we were not going to let it go. Boy, you shouldn't be hitting the board while he's speaking. Oh, man. Well, oh. I mean, you shouldn't be... <laughs> you should be dicking with, with stuff. Pay attention. Tom, this is one of those moments I was asking you about off the air where you have you can stand up and go, how about a little effing respect? <laughs> I, let me tell you something. I'll, t- I'll talk to you, Miss Hooker. Yes. I learned something a long time ago. Mm-hmm. If you learn how to operate any of this equipment... Another great. Piece they of will ask you, you to operate They'll it. They'll make you do yeah. it, and you yeah. have to do it. Yeah. Yep. I have made a very fine career <laughs> <laughs> out of being absolutely unable to operate any machine in this building. Well, then why do they if keep If you don't believe me, more. ask anyone behind the scenes. <laughs> I cannot operate any of this. They too keep well, giving you more. They keep giving they you more. They don't look, but but and and this isn't a criticism, Tom, but this is just how it is. They don't give him anything he yeah. doesn't ask for. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Knowing that I'm not going to be able to operate. <laughs> now this thing has a gizmo on it. You're supposed to. It's supposed to mute when the mics are on. Are they labeled? <laughs> yeah, I can play something for you right now in cue. It's, this is not supposed to go over the air, but it will. Oh, All right. go I'm ahead. Sure. I'm going to prove it. What would you like to hear? A little South Pacific? <laughs> uh, Please. Yes, I would. Uh, no, I, I'll just play a little something. Uh, let's see. Uh, God, I hope we, it doesn't work. I hope it we doesn't can, it'll work. We can come back with this. Okay. You know, oh, are we? Oh, we're late. I'm sorry. We'll, we'll come back with <laughs> me screwing up the board. Uh, um, right now, I want to tell you about better help. Because the world is confusing, and I've just proven it. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you're having trouble maybe uh, falling asleep or whatever, I want to tell you that this portion of the Bob and Tom Show is here to help you because it's brought to you by BetterHelp. What's that all about? Well, it's all about um, therapy, and it's all about embracing the world of therapy through the Internet and through your your contemporary tools out there, computers, your phone, et cetera, et cetera. What you're talking about is filling out a questionnaire, and you'll get matched up with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. With BetterHelp, you go to betterhelp.com slash btshow. I'm going to tell you a little more about this. You fill out the questionnaire, you'll be matched up with a therapist, and then the therapy itself is done. 
online. So it can be done as if it were a Zoom call or like you're on the phone just talking or even texting back and forth. It's all about what works for you and in the time frame that works for you. That's why BetterHelp really is revolutionary in the world of personal therapy. So get a break from your thoughts and check out BetterHelp. BetterHelp.com slash BT show to get another, uh, what is it, 10% off your off your first month. And that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, BetterHelp.com slash BT show to get on your way to being your best self. Uh, I'll come back with my best self and try to operate this machinery. Okay. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Become a Bob and Tom VIP and get your Bob and Tom fix 24-7. What about was, the Blow Jovian guy? Was, was this the, the, I think it was one of the Blow Jovians. Was this the Mad Armenians? Was this <laughs> Might have been Bluto Blow Jovian. And, and, and the Mad Armenians. Do we have everybody out there? I can't see. Um, do we need Chick? Okay. Do we need Chick? We do need Chick. We do for this oh, next we tune. Okay. We're going to need the Chickster. Oh. Yeah, there's a little vocalizing from uh, everyone on this one. Oh, that's this one. Oh, this yes. one, yeah. Okay. That song. Yeah. Okay. Well, you all got to get out there. No, no not can, everybody. We can sing from in here. And ready? And ready? And we're ready. Okay. You're fed up. Wait a minute. This is called. Dear Penthouse, I'm a freshman at a small Midwestern university. And I never thought something like this could happen to me. My teacher with the dynamite ass Asked me to stay after a class And she started to undress Can't forget the statement she made If you drop your pants, I'll raise your grade Uh, 
classic. Oh, you screwed up I screwed up the damn My withheld God. name and address. Nice, nice job, Chick. Nice job. <clears throat> That's it. And I even rehearsed yesterday. I did rehearse. You, you did? That's with rehearsal. <laughs> Thank God you rehearsed. Think how horrible it would have been. It was and I still you not. Get the... You oh did a great God. job. So wait, let's nice. do it again. One, no, two, two, three. three. No. <laughs> Okay, Graber, I took his reins away when he wasn't looking. <laughs> You're a good friend, Yoder. <laughs> the Amish Brewing Company would like to remind you, if thou hast had too much to drink, thou shalt not drive. <laughs> Amish Brewing Company, Napanee, Indiana. <laughs> you don't say we didn't warn you. There's laughter ahead. You guys want to grab lunch? We yeah. can't go anymore. <laughs> Holy That's cow. a good day's work, everybody. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Radio. Greg Warren is our guest. What do you do on the road? We were talking to Mike about his activities in the road. Watch television a lot? You do, don't you? I just got a DVD player. We rented The Fugitive the other day with Harrison Ford. Great sure. movie. Yeah. There's a little deleted scene in there where he's running from Tommy Lee Jones and he runs into Subway and orders a sandwich. All right, listen to me. <laughs> I need a six-inch turkey sub on wheat with bacon, no mustard or mayonnaise, all right? <laughs> ah! Oh, uh, lettuce, tomato, <laughs> green pepper. I didn't kill my wife. You Indian Jones. Uh, well, uh, yeah. I no, thought... no, you Indian Jones, man. I seen you. Right. In the, I seen Indian I... Jones one, Indian Jones right. two, well, Indian Jones three. Then you didn't right. work for a long time. Well, actually, and then I did see you in a movie last year, Hollywood Homicide. Right. Yeah, that was. That wasn't that good. <laughs> you should well, have done Indian Jones four. Well, we'll never actually. You got a whip too. On... You like. The whip man. Well, I, I don't you whip personally at? have the whip? whip. It's in the Smithsonian Where Institute. You, right you look old too now, man. You, you, all you... right, listen to me. I didn't come here to be talked to by some deranged fan, all right? Okay, man. Indian Jones. All right, fine. Get your whip out, Jones. Where are you from? from Patterson. From Patterson, New Jersey. Oh, sure. That's famous. Yeah, boy. you know, small. Sure. Thugged out town. You know, mm -hmm. It's tiny. So small, we used to get robbed by people we knew. <laughs> small. People were like, stick them up. I'm like, Andre? <laughs> I'm going to tell your mother, man. <laughs> by the way, how is Aunt Carol? How is she doing? <laughs> I'll come home for dinner. <laughs> get out. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. Jess Hooker joins us. Hi. There's uh, Josh Arnold. Oh, no. Oh, Hi man. there. There's a skinny bitch equipment. Name to see them in the expert. Uh I'm Chick McGee and here's here's Tom, my buddy, Tom Griswold. How you doing, bud? You I'm, all right? I'm just making some notes about us. Okay. All right. <laughs> a lot going on. You uh, know I'm what? Sure. You take your time. Okay. I will. Thank all right. Mm -hmm. um, oh, uh, a couple quick things. Um we have uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, a second show has been added to our special event, Friday, November seventeenth at the North Star Mohican Casino Resort in Boulder, Wisconsin. Should be a lot of fun. Hope to see you there. But second show added for that evening comedy program with That's right. Willie G, Jeff Oskey, Josh Arnold, Pat Godwin, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, <laughs> by the way, Willie G doing some special stuff um, in Chicago this weekend with Greg Warren at Zany's. That's going to be cool. But right now we return to the news desk. She hasn't given up all hope. No, Just most no, of not it. at all. It's Christy Lee. Authorities have arrested a man who was walking through do -do 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 -do, the Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport, naked. The airport released a statement saying the airport's <laughs> Department of Public Safety had responded to the nude man walking inside Terminal C. Video posted to social media shows a guy casually strolling past a TGI Fridays. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Nothing What's for me, measure? thanks. Uh, any uh, thing uh, you have to say? <laughs> What's going on? In the clip, the person filming can be heard saying, there's a naked guy in the airport. To which the man responds by turning, pointing back and saying, yes, there is. Oh! What is this man doing? I don't know. Well, the station reports he was taken into custody for a mental health evaluation. Maybe he was drugged up. You, you don't know. You think he was just doing it for the gram, as they say? Uh, maybe. Uh, maybe. Do you have anything worth seeing? Oh, there you go. No, I don't know. I don't know. Until you, know you got your TSA quick, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What um, kind of Sorry, sir, no shoes. Oh, wait a minute. You've got nothing on. You're fine. Go, come on through. <laughs> um, so the guy obviously had to take his clothes off once he got inside the security. Yeah. 
Okay. Do they still have lockers in airports? Do you remember when they used to have lockers in the airport? Sure, in old in old movies. Yes. The, uh, yeah, they were, you'd have you to would, go to the... There couldn't be anybody kidnapped. You'd I, have a locker yeah. in the right. airport. I think those are... I don't... I Thing don't, of the past, right? I think, I think they've been gone for quite a while. Yeah, not safe, you see. Hmm. Well, where'd he put his clothes? <laughs> I would imagine he jettisoned them in uh, the men's room, perhaps. Oh. Well, I hope he hid them. I hope he was able to put them back on. Oh, get it? Jettisoned? Airport? Oh, yeah. Is this a yeah. uh, diarrhea guy from a couple weeks ago? Oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. Oh, that poor, poor man. Yeah. Remember, um, remember when you had to jettison your underwear? You had a shark. Remember that, Tom? There was a little more to it than that. It was a rather lengthy story, but I, 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 I indeed uh, had to uh, wrap my underwear in foil and jettison it. You, you see nothing odd about that story at all. It wasn't, it, it, just it, a, a regular turn of events for that day. It wasn't going to be worth, you know. You had the aluminum foil. You had the extra pair of underwear with you. Is that right? No, 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 no. I was commando after that. Where did the foil come from? Yeah. The restaurant where this took place. Oh, God. Hilarious. You asked for some foil? Yes, and the guy goes, are you going to make one of those to-go swans? swans? No. <laughs> so you, it happened right there in the restaurant? Yeah. Well, yeah. I I didn't know this part of the story. Sharded in a restaurant. <laughs> there Were was more working? to it. There was a, it was a, it was a full intestinal disorder. <laughs> All right. And you filled your underwear. Not filled. There was a... <laughs> <laughs> was there was there an odor? I mean, people could tell. No, I, I I immediately took care of it. I right there in the restaurant. You had to go to. The I went to the men's. Thank you. Was it a local restaurant? Would we know? Uh, it? No, it was. Oh. Uh, but it was about. Um, was it a chain? No, it was probably. Was it in Deland? No, I'm was trying it to Shoney's? think. It was probably a little it was more a, than a little more than an hour away. It was a Shoney. Okay. Oh. Uh, Shoney. <laughs> uh, but I wasn't walking through an airport naked. They, they called you Big Boy, didn't they? After, after that. Did you hear Big Boy, Jordan? No. <laughs> hey, Big Boy. <laughs> what else have we got? <laughs> a hot air balloon made an emergency landing on a highway median in Vermont. Really? The Valley News reports five people were aboard for the sunset ride when the balloon stalled. <laughs> Screaming. Yeah, a highway uh, median. Well, let's this see. So we're we're in a basket, and that's a semi There's going 50 miles an hour. Nothing Yikes. lovelier than a sunset ride. <laughs> oh, my God! The pilot landed the craft safely on I-91 in the median right that's, there in Hartford. That's some good driving. Yes, traffic was shut down for about 20 minutes while the balloon was landing. Well, now, Were you I the mean, one? That, were you the Chick, weren't you the one that got the landed in the cornfield and got dragged? I yes. did. Uh, 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 Christy and Bob also got yeah. dragged by an on hot air balloon. Yeah. The guy looked at me, though, and said, we're going to use this tree up here for a break. I was in the Mickey Mouse balloon. Oh. That's the morning I'm used uh, down to people who are watching me. I said, hey, you want to kiss a mouse between the ears? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. oh, that was Very funny. Good. Anyway, good. that was the beginning of my shoulder problem, actually. It's interesting, Tom. Really? Uh, okay, great. I hit the tree and it bent it back. Uh, this guy, I mean, to land in the median. And that's really good piloting. Mm -hmm. Very scary. Yes. What what happened? I don't know. It just said it stalled. Hmm. Well. Ran out of hot air, I guess. Well, yeah, they should have had you with him, huh? <laughs> oh, that's very witty. I could do your Herb Street hunk for him and see if the balloon would go up. Oh, Kirk Herb Street, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. He's flying Sorry. all around the country. Is it Kirk Herb Street or Herb Kirk Street? <laughs> it's uh, Kirk Herb Street. They oh, okay. call him Herbie. Quarterback for the Ohio State. Kirby the love bug. Are you shaking? What was that? <laughs> yeah, Tom's just having a sip of ice coffee. Oh, that's okay, all. my bad. Let make the man sure, enjoy it. Make sure, Sorry. It's, make sure you can, it's mixed up. You can, just, you can hear that? Yes. yes. Just, just be glad he's not doing any of this What's stuff. Or the shaking right. Whatever sugar packet. Sugar packet. Oh. There's all right. kinds of sound coming from over there. Yeah. Um, uh, come, give me the teaser, Christy. I know we have a very special surprise coming up. We have a couple of surprises next hour. Also, we have flying cheese. We have... Benedict Arnold. We have 3D salmon and more coming up. 3D salmon. Printed salmon. You ever had eggs, Benedict Arnold? It's when you order it and then you trade it with the guy next to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. Well, you know, Benedict Arnold, you know why he was upset? Why? He didn't get reimbursed by the what was then the government. So he said, okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to attack New, New London. Uh, we'll find out about all that. Um, this is the Bob and Tom Show. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Text us at 888-262-866.
Now, Donnie, I, I, I know that you're wearing a, a Christmassy kind of uh, shirt, but this isn't a Christmas song next, is it? No, this ain't a Christmas tape. This, um, and, and I want one of them camel toe shirts for Angel Skinners. Okay. Because it is a holiday. So I'll be seeing her, not by choice, but I will be seeing her. I ain't seen her since her last intervention. I caught her cheating on me again. <laughs> <Really>? Oh, no. <laughs> the first time, it's because, you know, this time of year, everybody does little sweet whispers, and I was nibbling on her neck and noticed her earlobe smelled like her bare feet. Well, oh. we never did missionary so i bust her fair and square but then two weeks ago we get back together and i thought it was going to be another chance and i f- caught her and this time i have hard evidence because mm-hmm. i found tonsil stones <laughs> oh, really? in her panties oh <laughs> boy not just three or four chick i'm oh, talking right. enough to make a decent trail mix oh with. yeah oh jeez oh, so i was like it's been going down on you john coffee from the movie green mile <laughs> <Swear to God. laughs> remember when he had them pop rocks yes. oh yeah, nice yeah. Right. I remember, <laughs> uh, well Daddy, so that explains exactly what this song is about that's what this tape's about. The first time I met her, when the love was love tender and purely platonic, from Donnie Baker and the Pork <laughs> Pistols. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Is he gonna cry? <laughs> well, they couldn't afford air conditioning. <laughs> So she never had company. Her own man worked for organs. So at least she was bug free. <laughs> At the start, sort of changed later. Oh. I miss her. I miss how even her air fresheners in the car smelled like white rain. I swear to God. <laughs> Her dad went to work that night now. Never forget it. And my pants got real tight. Looked like my Zubas were building a beast. <laughs> she gave a sign for the bedroom. And I knew it was gonna be my night. All right. And then I porked an angel. <laughs> <laughs> then I parked an angel Crash Scanners is her last night <laughs> But, see, we didn't have no rubbers Uh-oh. Not even a wet nap I mean, none that I ever seen But I saved the day I just used her covers Like a hoodie <laughs> Slow down. Let it simmer, Dusty. Just a whore named Angel. <laughs> yeah! You took my breath away from the moment I first saw you. Will you marry me, Dolly? <laughs> she said yes! She said yes! It's not a real person. It's not a real diamond. Real, natural, earthborn diamond. For your real love. The Bling Ring will air on HBO on October 1st. And that's your entertainment news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Think you know your pro football and want to put your knowledge to the test? Then play Pigskin Pick'em every week at BobandTom.com. This is your chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. Just pick the winners of this week's pro football games and you could win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. Head to BobandTom.com slash contest and play Pigskin Pick'em with the Bob and Tom Show. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Awful entertaining. Essential morning radio. Uh, this is Bob and Tom Radio 24-7. Rob Haney is our guest. Now, uh, Rob, are you... Uh, well, are you- I, I was... As you might know, I try to be clean. And this is... I, I, I feel I might be going over the board with this, but 
What's, what's the show that's always about sex? It's only a talk real thing. personal? Well, then back me if you saw this. The night they had Dr. Ruth Westheimer on mm -hmm. as a guest, and this is all true. And I, I don't know how I'm going to clean this up. This guy calls in to, to, to ask Dr. Ruth for advice. And he said that he had been dating this girl, but he broke up with her because she had, and this is the hard part, she had extreme odor. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. All right. That, that's what the man said. I'm sorry, but that's what he, And anyways, he said that since they had broken up, they had remained close friends. And she had dated two other guys, and those relationships broke off kind of suddenly. He thought, maybe it was the same reason. Mm -hmm. Should I tell her? And as God is my witness, this was Dr. Ruth's advice. She said, send the girl some flowers. And on one side of the card, write a little poem, something, something positive, something upbeat. Uh -huh. Which, you know, to me, that's terrible advice. I mean, you know, uh, I, I can't imagine, you know, can you imagine that poor guy trying to write that poem? <laughs> no. Uh, roses are red, violets are blue, you're real sweet, but you're... <laughs> I've went over the line, haven't I? So that's not me. I don't. That's offensive, isn't it, Paul? You're a classy guy, and that is, that is offensive. So. Did that, uh, are we back on the air? We are now. <laughs> I apologize. Did that have to be clear? I apologize. Yes. I apologize to you ladies. Okay. Right? <laughs> This is Reno Collier, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Comedian Greg Fitzsimmons has joined us in the studio. You're a New Yorker. Uh, yeah. How's that going? <laughs> New York's good. Not bad. It's, uh, it's a strange place because no matter where you work or what you do, you come in contact with freaks. <laughs> you know, I, I, like I, I, grew, I, I worked at a gas station for a couple of years, and the guy I worked with... Strange man, former porno movie star from the 70s. Really? Yeah, he'd get confused every time he'd fill the tank. Halfway through, he'd pull it out and spray it all over the car. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, we lost a lot of good pets. Uh, yeah. All day, all night, all Bob and Tom. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> Christy Lee at the news desk. Hi. I stir your eyes some more. Let me let me hear you. Let me hear you stir it up. He's going to come across this counter and beat the crap let's, out let's, of you. No, that's not. That's not. There you go. Did I say hi, Christy? Hi, Jeff. There's Jess Hooker. I'm worried. What about when Tom breaks and finally does punch one of you? Yeah. What's going to happen? I can take him. <laughs> There's Josh Arnold. Okay. Hello. Uh, he's at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. There's Ace Cosby. He will come over here. I'll hide behind Ace and he'll... <laughs> oh, there'll, there'll be no trouble today, Mr. Cosby. <laughs> I'm Chick and here's Tom. And we have a winner on the phone, don't we? I'm hoping we do. Um, we're trying to hook up with Craig Joseph. Uh, Craig, can you hear me okay? Yes, I can hear you. Yay! Can you hear me, too? Yes, we sure can. We can. Uh, so, sorry about our technical difficulties yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yesterday, we had some phone issues, so we're doing this. Uh, uh, they've done some kind of work around, as they say. But we have you on the phone. Congratulations. You won the Big Green Egg Mini Max. You got 15 out of Thank 16 you. games correct uh, in week two of our special competition. Well done. Uh, so other than the, the great prize, you get a bonus prize of getting to pick against Chick McGee in the famous shoe-in of the week. And here we go. Okay. Wrong music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm being criticized. <laughs> Time now for the often imitated, never duplicated spreads. Shoe in of the wing. You know, a lot of people have tried to do a football pick and show, but nothing ever really measures up like the original shoe in of the wing. That's exactly right. Uh, okay, what is it, Craig or Joe? What's his name? <laughs> Craig. Craig. His last name Craig? is Joseph. Is it Greg? Craig. 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 Okay. Craigy Joe. We like Craig. <laughs> CJ. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, what's your favorite football team there, Craig? Chiefs. 60 years. You Chiefs? like the Chiefs? Wow. For so wow. Mm. Honest to gosh. Cool. Wow. Yes, you're I'm from Kansas City. Wow. You're ah. like you're like me. I've been a Washington fan since uh, Sonny Jurgensen. All right. You an Arthur Bryant fan there, Craig? No, not really. What's your barbecue there's, there's choice? There's other ones that are better. Oh, okay. What, what's your barbecue? Uh, probably Q39. Oh, okay. Good to know. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, wow. KC Barbecue, baby. Now, Ooh. doesn't uh, St. Louis and Kansas City have a kind of a friendly feud going on between the, each side of the Missouri or whatever? Uh, it, yeah. Oh, he says yes. Yeah, go ahead, Craig. They've got uh, they've got a feud basically for the whole state of Missouri, and it uh, 
kind of peaked in 85 during the World Series. Sure. Oh, yeah, Kansas City against uh, St. Mm. Louis. Yeah, remember that? The I-70 series. Yeah, that's there. right. Yeah. Sounds good for both sides, some great barbecue. Remember but, the uh, manager for the Cardinals then? Whitey Herzog. Remember yeah. That the white rat. <laughs> the white rat is what they called him. <laughs> that's right. Okay, here we go. I'll start off with the Kansas City Chiefs. They are hosting the Chicago Bears, and one could uh, make the assumption that Kansas City is everything that's right about the National Football League. Uh, on the other flip side, Chicago Bears are everything that's wrong. And they're getting 12 points in Kansas City. And you have to factor in the points when you're talking to me, pal. So who do you like, Kansas City minus the 12 or Chicago plus the 12? I, I, I can't take the 12. I got to go with Chicago. I just don't think they can cover. All right. Wow, okay. That's an interesting. I will take Kansas City minus the 12. The Chiefs are covering all day long. Oh, interesting. And once again, as a reminder, I am 7 and 15 on the season. <laughs> so. And that's why. Okay. Is that the, bad? Oh. the confidence that you're oh, on your shots yeah. fired. Uh, the Green Bay Packers hosting the New Orleans Saints. Uh, Saints getting two. Who do you like, Green Bay or New Orleans? Packers, straight up. Packers, I agree. My Green Bay minus oh. the two, Tom, and then Yay, finally Packers. Uh, then, oh, I didn't know you were <laughs> a got... Packers fan. Well, my husband is. So oh, I guess I right. am now. Well, good for you. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, a chick. I was writing. Who picked what on that one? Uh, we both picked Green Bay minus okay. two. Okay. And it's, I still don't can't get used to Christy saying my husband. I know, right? It's That's weird. Like a bizarre like universe. It. It is, it is I like it too. I like It'd be it. weirder if you said it. My husband. Mm-hmm. Well, you never There's know. still a chance. Yeah, I know. There's still I a chance. A late, night, a, a late life gay would be great for you. I'll put it out there. I'm not sure. that there's anything wrong with it. No, not at all. Not that not there's anything all. wrong with it. You shut up, Craig, unless, uh, what, are you, what are you doing later, Craig? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ignore that. I'm, if nothing, I'm a gentleman. And then I like uh, the uh, old Colts host the uh, new Colts, if you will. The Baltimore, no, they're the Browns, aren't they? The Ravens are the Browns. And then... Oh anyway, my. the Baltimore <laughs> Ravens hosting the Indianapolis Colts, and the Colts getting eight in Baltimore. Who do you like, Gardner Minshew or the Baltimore Ravens? Um, I think the spread will be bigger. I think uh, Baltimore will cover that. Okay, he likes Baltimore minus the eight, Tom. I like Baltimore to win, but uh, it's going to be a close one. I like the Colts plus the eight. Gardner Minshew is going to play out of his mind. Okay. Or he's going to be injured on the third play. Oh, oh, be, oh, yeah. Yeah. Gardner, Gardner, four <laughs> touchdowns, please. Gardner, Come on. Gardner, he's our man. He's we great. can't do it. Nobody can. He's great. And uh, that's this week's Shoe In of the Week. And now we'll get to find out what Craig's cooking for Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> And uh, all, uh, all other things that we ask about. Well, Craig, I like to find out about our listeners, uh, and I, I want to congratulate you. Uh, you seem like a real nice guy, very knowledgeable, a uh, longtime uh, Kansas City fan, which is great that you're loyal. Um, you sound uh, sexy. Even though geographically you have you have moved, I understand. Um, uh, yeah. are, are you having Thanksgiving at your house this year? Here we go. We are since we just moved. Uh, we are having it here for the first time in many years. Okay. Are you going to be doing any of the cooking? We, you actually can do some of your cooking on your big green egg mini max, of course. I am not. Uh, my wife wants to take it over, so she's going to she's going to cook. I will be not be using whoa, the smoker. Whoa, 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 whoa! Your wife wants to take it over. That implies that you have been doing it up till now. Is that right? Oh. Oh, then I misspoke. She wants to continue doing it. <laughs> fair. That sounds, All right. Fair sounds enough. good. Well, see if she gets into the big green egg, and uh, you can at least do uh, some of your stuff on the egg, including a turkey, of course. Mm -hmm. So uh, we yeah. certainly appreciate your listening, Craig. Thanks very much. Sorry about the screw-up on the phone yesterday. Um, and uh, No problem. Uh, in, enjoy uh, uh, your team. It's kind of an interesting year for Kansas City. Mm -hmm. They... Uh, uh, Maybe Super Bowl bound, but you never know. Uh, it's very, very tricky. Oh, out there. It's a great city. I, I love Kansas City. Okay, great. thank you. Hey, the Chiefs just won a Super Bowl. Yeah, all right, come on. move over. Let somebody else win. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very like much, the Craig. Commanders. Hey, Craig. Well done. Uh, Bye, Craig. Uh, coming up, thank we have you. another surprise. We do? Uh, yes, a bonus edition of the Jeff Oskey uh, uh, news we failed to mention. Well, now it's not a surprise. You know what? It's this... not a surprise. <laughs> it he is a surprise. Here. He works here. Because I'm going to walk in and I'm going to read one of his jokes. Today. You have to. You are? Yes. You mm -hmm. can't keep saying you, you don't surprises want for just regular stuff. So I thought you would have assumed that because he did one a couple days ago, that was it for the week. 
I kind of thought it was. See? Yeah. So his name's not on edition. the board. I'm yeah, happy his name's about not on the board. I, I, you know, I thought it was. And, oh. Jeff, pick out the joke that you want to tell the least, and I'm going to tell that one this week. Oh, All right. That sounds like a good, good It'll proposition. Be fun. Yeah. Uh, Christy, what's going on at the news desk? A California driver called police to report flying cheese on the road. The <laughs> Sacramento Bee reports dispatchers broadcast a be-on-the-lookout advisory to officers. What is this, Cloudy with a chance of meatballs? Yeah. Uh, Hello? She had reported flying cheese hitting her windshield while she was drying, driving in Roseville. In a recording shared online, a dispatcher says, Reporting party advised piece of cheese hit her window from a passing black sedan, <laughs> unknown plates. Wow. When an officer responded asking for the color of the cheese, <laughs> the dispatcher replies, We're going to go with American cheddar. According to the newspaper, <laughs> the incident could have been a result of a cheese challenge. That went mm -hmm. viral on TikTok. What's the cheese challenge? Users, thank you for asking, Josh. You throw, Users uh, shared clips of people throwing slices of yeah. cheese onto vehicles or unsuspecting toddlers. I was going to say it's baby yeah, faces is how it started. Usually. Yeah, there's like a baby in a pumpkin seat and yeah. like a dad will just like kind of frisbee a piece of cheese over there and it just smacks the kid in the face. It's and it terrible. Mo most times it sticks on it, which yeah, it is sticks. really funny. And then the baby starts to flail and no, scream. guys. Yeah. Yeah. Hilarious. The more he cries, the more I laugh. <laughs> oh, oh. Sounds awful. Yeah. It is. All us and passing vehicles don't do that. No. It's well, it's not like it's it's going to obstruct your view. Yeah. It's it could scare somebody into no. swerving into another car. Okay, if you can't handle a piece of cheese <laughs> hitting your windshield, Get out of the car and walk, oh, okay? I mean, the chick's delivering it like General Patton. I had I an uncle who was killed by cheese. <laughs> if you, you can't, can't handle, handle your friend's face cheese. becoming a thing of goo. <laughs> yeah, this is incredibly dangerous. Yeah, this is and real silly. Incredibly dangerous. This is unbelievable. Oh. But at least he's taking it seriously. Oh. Oh. I see. <laughs> God, I hated that. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Ricotta, be kidding me. Oh. Oh. Okay, sir. He's All got right. one no, more. No, more, more. Go no, ahead. No, 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 no. Yes, he does. Don't be a monster. Give us another one. This, ho th th this Halloween, there'll be a lot of monster sightings. Uh. Yeah, he did it. Okay, sure. Doesn't count. Isn't there a rapper or cheese whiz or... Wiz cheese. Wiz Khalifa. Wiz Khalifa. Wiz Khalifa. Oh, okay. Oh, that's. He'll be there shortly. G Wiz. Okay. G Wiz is one. Okay, good. G Wiz um, is not really a rapper, <laughs> is it? No, he's he's a radio personality. Oh, okay. Yeah. Huh. G Wiz. Um, speaking of radio personalities, friend of the show is going to be doing a. Do you want to describe this world record that they're going to be doing? Oh yeah. So, um, my mentor and friend Don Stuck. <laughs> Sorry, I can't even get it out. Um, yeah, he's going to be a part of a Guinness World Record breaking. Of uh, playing Freebird continuously on a loop for eight to ten hours. Oh, yeah. uh, live musicians playing it. Live musicians. Wow. I think somewhere between tw ten and twelve musicians will kind of come in and out, and uh, yeah, they're gonna do so that. So they'll be rotating, and they'll just keep the one version of Freebird going and going yes, and going, going and, and going. going and going and going. Yeah. Holy cow! Yeah. Um, Wait, well, can't wait to miss that. Yeah. <laughs> does any does just one of them I'm have to stay up there the whole it, time? But... Time or no, I don't think one of them does as long as maybe they all start together and they all end together. Like oh. may, I, Maybe that's the way they do it. I don't know. It's open to the public in Greenfield, Indiana. You can go next Saturday. They're not doing it in an airfield, are they? <laughs> no. Oh, oh, oh. It's oh. tasteless. I'm, I'm not making sure that, because that would be tasteless. That would yeah. be. Yeah. So no, I, really I want to make cool. sure they're not doing it where And the Guinness are. people will be here, the, too. Yeah, the Guinness people will be here. They'll here be on Buddy site. Holly International. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Chick, you're going to get to do us. You could do it live. You could do a live report. Oh, there you go. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we've been told you have to. Hey, we're live at JFK Junior Airport. You know what? I um, I beg to differ. <laughs> no, no. They said if you don't do it, you're out. Uh, well, okay. It's been a good run. Oh, no. Don't throw me in the briar patch. <laughs> Sounds like fun. <laughs> Be kind of interesting. Well, yeah, Wait longest longest singing marathon. If is what you it says. if you go, I'll go with you. Singing. What time? I would is like it? to see it. When does it start? Uh, I don't. I don't have the time. Like noon. We'll or? get the information. We'll post it on our social media yeah. platforms. Right now, I want to give you some information about having a great fall, food wise, because we know how busy everybody is right now, and uh, that's where Hello Fresh comes in because they're going to do the shopping for you. Get that out of the way. The meal planning as well. If what they do is they do the shopping, they deliver the fresh ingredients to you and the recipes. Oh, and they've done the measuring. 
So it is America's meal kit, America's number one meal kit. And right now you can get 50% off plus 15% off the next two months with a very special offer. You'll find it at HelloFresh.com slash BT Show. Christy, what have you been cooking over there? Oh, uh, well, let's see what we got over here. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, well, that's all right. We have, oh, I love this one. I think this, this is the barbecue is, pulled this, chicken tacos. This might be my favorite thing. Of yeah, the it has. The food's great, of course, but I like the pictures. The creamy time. slaw, very red cool. onion, and this is the best part, four steps. That's all it takes. Four steps, prep time, five minutes, cook time, 15 minutes. We're done. And they, give done. You, they give you the photograph to help them. you get through the recipe. It's so All simple. More than 40 recipes every week. More than 100 add-on items at the uh, special HelloFresh market. Get all the details. Once again, it's HelloFresh.com slash 50BTShow. That's a new code. 50BTShow will once again get you that 50% off and 15% off for the next two months. That's 50BTShow at HelloFresh.com slash 50BTShow. Every variety of food is available. You're going to really love it. And it is America's number one meal kit. Coming up, special visit from Jeff Oskey and our second dose of, uh, of news we failed to mention. Yes, Christy. And we may get to um, what your sleeping position tells about your relationship. Huh. Uh-huh. Uh, fetal sobbing? Is that... Well, I mean, there? we have to be sleeping with someone else, not oh, just you, I guess, as okay. a couple. Under a bridge? I, said. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he's single. <laughs> oh, look at him. Out, the, uh, out in the open. <laughs> That's a life. Huh? Living off the fat of the land. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is the Bob and Tom Show. Morning laughter. <laughs> That's why you're single. That's all. What? Are we? Wait a minute. I'm sorry. We're back live. Um, back with that. Not your tongue. He was it... talking about me because I went like this. No, 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 no. I'll tell you what it was. You see, you don't, you're not even aware of what you just did. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We're live in the Napa Auto Parts studios. You're Coming up, our, in, our interview with Donald Fagan. You're so Steely Dan. stupid. You don't you know, know what you're no, saying. No, no, we're trying to make conversation. Just before the mic's open, <laughs> Josh goes, hey, uh, my toilet seat's uh, on the way. Yeah, that's right. He's excited about it. Right. It was something we had did discussed. You, did you hear what Tom said? We were trying to make conversation. Tom doesn't have conversation. He didn't speak a word during no. the break. He, he doesn't kept say his anything. headphones They invented on. the phrase, he talks at, at me. You. Yes. <clears throat> I thought it was like, I mean, Josh, okay, you're on a first date. Let's yes. just say, let's just say, and, you know, there's some nice music in the background. You're at a nice restaurant. And, Here uh, we go. <laughs> The waiter Here's comes that. up. You order a, some sort of cocktail. I assume. What, what are you? What's your oh, beverage happened. of choice? Uh, oh, I might have a, uh, a, a tequila and a okay. beer. Uh, yeah, oh, uh, a together shot. beer. Sure, so, yeah. Go. Beer and shot. Why not? As you uh, can what see, he's as thinking you can... is here. You <laughs> don't look like an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's thinking. Oh no, no. I think he looks like one. Um, and then <laughs> far farthest from the truth. And then, go ahead. And then this this young lady orders something, and then you say, "Where's the conversation starter?" Hey, uh, my uh, my new toilet seats. Uh, I just got a thing from. Amazon, it's on the way. <laughs> and then she goes, yeah, I'm sure that's oh, what wait, would Waiter, do. could I get an Uber? I've got to get out of here. I have a thing. I had a... Oh, my God, the way your brain operates. <laughs> I know, it's amazing. Fascinating. Isn't it? mm -hmm. So, your okay. new toilet seat, something you want, to, you want to tell us why? Well, because, no, we were talking, because I'm tired <laughs> thought... of my vacuum cleaner, and we, Christy and I were talking about vacuum, and I'm going to order the one she has. Yeah, you're replacing your vacuum. I love my vacuum I'm tired of so, so, to enter the conversation, you said, wow, that's really interesting. Hey, my toilet seat's on the way. <laughs> because the other okay, day I mentioned that. I I broke about it. it. Josh, <laughs> I love you, but I think he might be right. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm just saying <laughs> I'm just saying it's kind of a kind of a conversation killer, really. I knew we only had four seconds left in the break. It's kind of a funny I thing. I thought I would yes. You know what? Oh, oh, I, I thought I was <laughs> I thought I was bringing up a topic you, that you would enjoy. No, I get Josh. I know what he was trying to do. Okay, sir, I didn't understand. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it took just over a year, but about six months longer than I had in the pool, but it finally happened. No, you had you Josh, had the you had the under? Josh, you, I had, you, I I, I would have I would have taken the under too. Josh now openly hates Tom. I had the under myself. Congratulations! I, but that was when they said I couldn't play because I was I couldn't play. Hey, 
it's Josh, and of course. Hi, Chick McGee, everybody. Your chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg for Bob and Tom at Big Green Egg. Each week, someone will win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. It's the Bob and Tom Show Big Skin Pick, empowered by the Big Green Egg. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest on the computer. <laughs> oh, is that where you go? Are we eligible? Dip him. Yep. <laughs> he wants down, maybe? Is that what that was? Just a hell of a bunch of bunnies to oi! Bugs bunny to oi! There he goes! Scream like a little girl. Scream like a junior high girl. That's all. Yeah, let's do two little bastards. <laughs> to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Well, hello, Chick McGee. Hello there. There's uh, Jess Hooker. Hello. Hello. There's Josh Arnold. Hi. He's at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. That's exactly right, Chick, my friend. Steven Singer Jewelers proving how worthless lab-grown diamonds are by giving away a free one-carat lab diamond with every engagement ring purchase. While supplies last purchase is necessary, visit IHateStevenSinger.com for more details. There's my man, Ace Cosby. My man. I am uh, Chick McGee, and uh, one more thing. Oh. Number 99 of the defense. F3 tackle the quarterback. He's giving them business. <laughs> <laughs> giving him like the business down there. I love and that. here's Tom to give you the business. I love that guy. He's, he's, he's just great. He's plain spoken. Mm -hmm. yep. You gotta love that. Now, uh, I believe it's time for our second surprise of the hour. Oh, boy. Uh, there it is. Oh, uh, joining us on the big screen uh, from our staff, it's Jeff Oske. Wow. That's right. How's everyone doing in there? We're great. What a terrific great day. Jeff. Great to see you, buddy. I'm feeling good. What's um, on your tie today? I can't see. Uh, nothing. Actually, this was sent in uh, oh, by nice. uh, Martin, a listener of ours. So All thanks right. for the uh, wonderful time, Martin. Is a Lovely. Beautiful tie. Thank you, Martin. I appreciate it. Oh, uh, on Wednesday, I talked about looking for a sister wife. Yeah. How'd that Go. I got my first application. Um, it says, Jeff, I can handle all the things you're looking for. I can clean. I can organize laundry. No problem. Hmm. Uh, I can change the alternator uh, or even a head gasket. I'm a master barbecuer. Wow. I love grocery shopping. Whoa. Well, I've never seen your lady. I can guarantee that I am not thinner nor cuter than her. 
I'm a 240-pound dude with a beard. Let me know when you need me to start. <laughs> All right. Uh, P.S. I have to be the big spoon. Uh, that's from Jeff. So, Jeff, you're in the running. Wow. Ladies, uh, don't... Jay, Oscar, Bob, and Tom, send in your application. <laughs> oh, nice. All right, now let's get started. Now, here's Jeff Oscar with what you failed to mention, Noose. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, some kid was born with 26 fingers and toes. What you failed to mention, that kid's going to grow up to be the best counter in his preschool class. <laughs> <laughs> Giant pandy, <laughs> giant pandies, uh, giant pandas living in captivity uh, could be experiencing symptoms similar to jet lag, according to scientists. What you failed to mention, I think they mispronounced depression. Christy yesterday had a story about putting garlic in your toilet to yes. improve smell and cleanliness. What mm -hmm. you failed to mention, the tip was brought to you by a couple of good fellas. <laughs> uh, that was a submission from Luke. Luke, our listener. Luke, thanks. I loved it. Luke. Thank you, Lukey. Uh, oh, speaking of Josh, Josh is going to do a failed to mention uh here do you want to do it now Josh? sure yeah why not oh, oh, here we go. Oh, right. josh has a nice time uh, I, I have not read this joke i asked jeff to give me the joke he did not want to tell okay and uh, so i'll read it cold here andrew luck is now coaching high school football what you failed to mention hope those kids don't get too excited he'll probably walk out on them when they least expect <laughs> Sorry, I'm a Colts Whoa, fan. Yeah. I still am angry. I'm still angry. All right, I'd like to stop right here, and uh, I think uh, we all should be able to do one of Jeff's jokes at some point in the future. Sure. I uh, think that'd be a great and idea. Pass the tie around? Mm -hmm. Yeah, pass the tie around. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, that sounds like a sex party thing. <laughs> Yeah, pass the tie around. So I was someone I got a Christy guy. Now, and, whoever's yeah. wearing the tie, are they serviced or they have to do the servicing? Okay. Uh, <laughs> boy, that's a great question. A 54-year-old uh, woman is selling her used granny panties online and making a ton of cash. What you failed to mention, uh, the name of her website. <laughs> um, I, uh, I, missed, I missed that. <laughs> Uh, we we learned uh, we learned the lower the number on the football jersey, the thinner it makes the player look. What yeah. you failed to mention, if that were truly the case, every middle aged housewife would be running around town sporting a Cam Newton, <laughs> Newton jersey. Cam Newton jersey. Low number, Cam. He was number one. Number nah, one. Number one. Hence the joke. <laughs> er, ergo, the slenderness. Yeah, it's a good joke. <laughs> Damn fine. If, if you know Cam Newton was number one. Hey, um, no. Well, I had oh. I didn't even know. I had to Google it. Uh, I know nothing about football. Oh, by the way, I'm number four in Kostaki's pool. I know nothing about football, and I'm dominating everyone. I love it. Willie, 214th. Oh, yeah. Take that, buddy. A uh, man swam 315 miles up the Hudson River, ending in Manhattan. What you failed to mention, uh, during the swim, he located 14 missing people. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you thought the water was cold. Not as cold as the cases he just solved. <laughs> <laughs> 14. Hey, and uh, you're keeping track. That was two jokes, baby. Right there. Yeah. Two. Very nice. Thanks, Chicky. Mm -hmm. A uh, Massachusetts farmer's beefy bovine was awarded the Guinness World Record as the tallest living steer standing at six feet one inch high. What well, you failed to mention, and in two years, he'll set a new record. World's largest T-bone. <laughs> mm. Slaughter. Yeah. Eat. Yeah. Sla slaughterhouse. That's what we do with them. Butcher. That's eat. right. Killing floor. Yeah, it's sort of like the, it, what is it, eat, love, pray? Yeah. It's slaughter, uh, butcher, eat. So, uh, so, uh, some Girl Scouts two weeks ago were almost eaten by a gator. Oh. Uh, wh uh, what you sh failed to mention, <laughs> someone uh, should let these gators know they taste nothing like their cookies. <laughs> No thin mints. They're wearing number one. Uh, a thousand people who I was mad yeah. that you didn't spell that joke out yeah, for me. He people. wanted you uh, to say that. Um, by the way, Cam Newton, <laughs> yeah, yeah. where's number one? Well, I didn't know that. You know what, Tom? Sometimes people have to do a little work. Yeah, exactly. Yes. The, I'm, yes. I'm not just going to hand it to you them. You have to right. assume they're yeah. somewhat intelligent instead of intelligent. drooling stupid. It's, like it's you do. ignorance, not stupidity. Uh, it's just not something you're interested in. We understand that, but a lot of people do like football. Cam's the hat guy, right? 
Yes. Many hats. And finally. And now here's Pat with the Cam Newton hat song. Oh, oh sorry. sorry. Uh, uh, and finally, a quarter of Americans say they can't get through the workday without a nap. What you failed to mention, <laughs> I don't mean to brag, but the uh, couch in Tom's office, very comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> he even has a pillow in there for me to use. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I do it all the time. He doesn't lock his office. Most of the time, the couch is still warm from the nap he just took. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jeff Oscar, and yes. this has been the news that I what failed to mention. Yes. Sure squeegee squeeg it Jeff off Oscar. when you're done. I always do. <laughs> No. Very nice. Thank you very much, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, by the way, is going to be part of our special show. Uh, we're doing the uh, the radio show uh, live from the North Star Mohican Casino Resort. And where's that? Well, of course, it's in uh, Bowler, Wisconsin. Uh, here we go. Wait. Thank you very much. Oh, another strike. Uh, Bowler, Wisconsin. He's very good. Perhaps, and, uh, I, perhaps we should put that It's going to be Friday, November 17th, as I mentioned, that morning. But then in the evening... We sold out that one comedy show, so we've added a second one. Are you kidding me? It's a 10.30 show? Wow, we're going to be exhausted. Oh, my goodness. Um, it's that second fe show is going to feature Pat crazy. Gowdle with Josh Arnold, Jeff Oskey, and Willie G with some special guest stars. 10.30? <laughs> Sick, will you be drinking? Uh, probably. Uh, yes, I will be. Absolutely. I'd like to talk to... I'll be home. Day. It, was, it, was, it was not me. I swear. Uh, swear it was not me. Here, here's the thing. You don't want to talk to somebody who made this decision because okay. it might have been, you know what I mean? Central time. Because, yeah, know, yeah. Um, uh, I'll be doing Metamucil shots. Yeah. Backstage. Are never, you going to be there? No. One can hope. I will never forget this. It was me and Bob and Christy and Tom and I forget where we were. I don't remember. Uh, after he said, I'll never forget this. But we were backstage at a show somewhere and I'm having a vodka and soda. I was having a glass of wine. Bob was having a beer. beer. And Tom comes up and he has this brown powder. <laughs> and I go, oh, wow. This Heroin? is going to be one of those parties. <laughs> no, it was a glass of Metamucil. Yes. All right. We put water in it, started mixing it up. It was uh, what let's, a nut. Let's party. Yeah. Hey. Let's get know. this party started. It was, it was awesome. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was, uh, you holding? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Not I got, for long. I just took Metamucil. I got the sugar-free packets. <laughs> I got to go. Um, we have uh, something else. Christy Lee at the Bob and Tom News Desk. And you mentioned the sleeping. What is it again? Um, this is uh, from this website called Little Things. What sleeping positions reveal about your relationship? Body okay. language experts shared the most common sleeping positions. Okay, for example, we all know about the spoon, right? Yeah, sure. That's when both partners are on their sides, facing the same direction. One partner's back is to the other's front. But can you sleep that close? Mm -hmm. Some, Some people Least do. Favorite. Least favorite. Shows a dynamic in which one partner takes a protective stance over the other. Also considered a position <laughs> that is sexual and trusting. Okay. All really? right. I noticed that none of these are negative, by the way. Well, that's oh. good. We don't need any negativity. Yeah. If you're, like, in another building... That would be negative, maybe. Yeah. Maybe enough. Not always. Not always. The loose spoon, where partners are in the spoon position, ooh, but ooh. there's a little bit of space between them. Oh, I, I thought I was going a different direction with the that. The old loose spoon. <laughs> yeah, you might want to wear an adult diaper. Of course you would. <laughs> this is for couples who are fans of spooning, but the relationship has matured and partners have reverted to a position that produces better sweep, sleep quality. Okay. Like, I've got your back, this, you can this, count on me, yeah. but I don't need to touch you. That sounds time. like it was written by some corporate... Uh, communications person where they got to fill it with a lot of words <laughs> that mean nothing. <laughs> I'm just glad he's not tearing apart something I'm doing. Yeah. That's why I'm so happy. At least you guys take turns. Yeah. The chase. Oh, the chase. Hey, what's this? One person has drifted to the other side and the other partner chases them into the spooning position. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't feel Sounds like safe. Assault. <laughs> <laughs> the person's being here. chased wants to be pursued, maybe playing hard to get, or, uh, or hard simply to... wants some space. Yeah, <laughs> not necessarily hard to get. Just uh, do you like to do you like to touch your partner while you're sleeping? God no. Uh, I'm uh, I, I am often accused of uh, uh, <laughs> taking uh -oh. up more space uh -oh. than I deserve. Oh no, kidding. Are you You're like a thrasher? Are you a thrasher or a starfish? I, uh, yeah, even if I'm by myself, if they're out of town, I, it, it looks like... A starfish, right? It looks like someone let a wolf loose. <laughs> 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 and the sheets are all over the place. Oh, I'm the exact opposite. I can literally get out of bed and go like this, just... Whoop, That's okay. how I feel. My bed is almost yes, still made. It's yeah. like yeah. you never move. Haven't you said that you can't tell if you're dead or sleeping? Well, sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
I've actually fallen out of the bed recently. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> like in the middle of the night. Clonk. Oh, Jesus. Did you hit your head? What the hell's I, going my on? My whole body, I fell out Are of... Are you being chased in your nightmares or no, something? No, I just, I don't know. It's... Wow. All right. There's the tangle. This is when partners are entangled face to face. Oh, my. Mm, oh, that breathing. I don't know about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They could be too dependent on each other to sleep apart, is what they're saying. Mm -hmm. This is like, these are like horror scopes. There's a lot horror of. Horror scopes? <laughs> horror. horror <laughs> what did I say? Horror. horror hey, horror scopes. Hey, whores have scopes too. Okay? <laughs> no, this, I mean, this, this writing is, it, it, I'm sure that these positions are legitimate, but then to, the, all of a sudden they have, well, this means that you're, right. you're rising. Uh, pupil, How about the, blah, un blah. the unraveling knot where you start in a tangled position, but unravel after a few minutes, which apparently shows a sign of a stronger relationship, a compromise between intimacy and independence. <laughs> this was written by an intern. Allowing for the best of both worlds. <laughs> How about uh, the, uh, uh, my arm's going to sleep. Hang on a second. Is <laughs> that ever happened? No? How about the back kissers? Hmm. Are you upside down? No, they sleep back to back. Butt to butt. Your butts touch. Oh, yeah. yeah. Butt to butt. Okay. Both partners oh. are relaxed and comfortable with one another, more common amongst newer couples. Is there one where the feet are in the pillows? Uh, That'd be weird. 69ing? What are yeah, you doing? Yeah, I mean, that would essentially be 69 <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> this is sleeping. I, right, use, but it's uh, that flip-flop. Pillow between your legs? Do you do I do. That? Yeah, I got to do that. I like yeah, that. No, I don't. It's very good for your back. Ever since I had surgery it's on my ass. It's the opposite. Uh, I don't oh, it hurts your back? Hurts gotcha. Your back. gotcha. I had surgery on my ass. I have to put that uh, Did they put one on? Pillow in it between. took it off. It took it off my, my little baby butt. <laughs> That's right. What That's about the enough. nuzzle? Well, what about the nose? One partner rests their head on the other's chests with legs entwined. Oh, okay. That's no a good one can starting sleep like that. Hey, it's a good starting position. Yeah, I mean, these are all fine that, snuggling uh, That's positions. like maximum six minutes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What about the leg hug where your partner's legs are intertwined, a sign that the couple can't get enough of each other? Huh. Mm. Uh, you're going to get peed on. And then there's the Tom. <laughs> the space hog is what they call it here. And, uh, and uh, Christy, put down there that be careful, don't get peed on. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> A partner takes the starfish position, takes up most of the bed while the other is hanging off. Well, that donates, donates, that one partner dominates the space and the other takes a secondary role. Oh, right. Tom, you familiar Tom? with this one? Mm. <laughs> Rarely, I, honestly, I think... A lot of guys would say that their their wives or female partners do that. I'm surprised to hear... Men do that? Yes. Really? You don't often hear that the guy is taking up most of the bed. Yeah. Do I, I don't know. I've never been a big bed hog. Do you guys... Our dogs take up most of the bed. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, really? No, no dogs in the bed. You have the dogs in the bed. Did yeah. You know, the spooning, though, is the basic. Do when fat people do it, they call it ladling? They do. It's really something. <laughs> No, they don't. You know, and by the way, uh, while we're on this fat people subject, there's nothing worse than a fat person. Wouldn't, wouldn't you agree, Tom? Oh, oh sure. Yeah, Tom yeah. and... Uh, now, for yeah, single guys, you should, Obama, they hate fat people. Afterward, you spoon with your right hand or your left. Ah. <laughs> see what he's doing here? Oh, I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I call that cupping, and <laughs> it depends on what side I'm lying on. <laughs> well, thank you very much. That was extremely, extremely useful. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see now. Um, I oh, I reminded everybody we have the second show added. I did. I forget to say it's North Star Casino Resort slash Entertainment for tickets. And Josh is scheduled to appear. And that second show is going to be crazy because I'll do it. The le level of fatigue. Uh, oh yeah. Should be. There's time for a big nap between yeah. the broadcast and the show. It's going to be slap happy, we'll be but it'll right. be fun. As my good friend Brian Dorfman would say about those late shows, we're here to address, not impress. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> exactly right. All right. Thank you, Brian. Uh, now, if you're having trouble falling asleep, we've been talking about sleeping. Maybe your brain is uh, just going full speed and won't stop talking. Maybe therapy is in order. Something to help you because you're helping everybody else. And better help is out there to help you. And better help is a really interesting, interesting idea going here. What it is, it's all about using contemporary technology to take advantage of the advantages of therapy. Therapy can give you a place to uh, get it together in your head, and BetterHelp will help you find a therapist, and the therapy itself is done online. Here's how it works. You fill out a brief questionnaire. You'll get matched with a licensed therapist, and by the way, you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. 
And then the therapy itself is done online. And as I've said before, you can do it uh, talking like you were on the phone. You can do it as if you're on a Zoom call with the camera going. Or you can do it, whatever, texting back and forth. Whatever works for you, that's the key to this. Also, the key to being convenient is you can do it when you want to. Get the schedule that works for you with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash BT Show. Do it today and it'll knock 10% off your first month. BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, BetterHelp.com slash BT Show. Get on your way to being your best self. In this portion of the Bob and Tom Show has been brought to you by BetterHelp. When we come back, we're going to be getting into a little bit of history for you. This is the Bob and Tom Show. For a complete copy of the Bob and Tom Show contest rules, go to Bob and Tom. Now, Rodney's uh, uh, got a record out there on Capitol Records. Yes. Can't miss it. It's called Morning Wood. Morning We're Wood just kind of sticking with the theme. It's hanging with Rodney, Morning Wood, and then Nutsack. Just kind of <laughs> walking our way down the, the trilogy. It dawned on me this morning how, what, you know. Yep. I've made a living for 12, 13 years talking about everything underneath my belt. Yep. Mm -hmm. And, uh. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> I'm glad you said hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I apologize. Uh, that's all right. Uh, well, uh, Rodney, we got uh, we got plenty of time. Do you want to work another one in here? Uh, yeah, here's one right here. This one's called, uh, well, I think, you guys, is that the one we're talking about? Okay. You guys want to play the intro? I don't want to. They get a little irritated when I <laughs> don't let them play the intro. They don't really like the way I do it. Let's yeah. just go right to the words. Uh, go ahead. Back when I was just a boy going places with my mom and dad it Used to scare me to death how mama used to act after six or seven beers she's had We were sitting at a table when mama got disabled, all the liquor running through her head Soon I got to joking, daddy wasn't joking when he grabbed me by the arm and said Don't look now, your mama's got her boobs out showing everybody in town Faces turning red, we were wishing we were dead, there were people standing all around. Mama gets to drinking, there ain't much thinking, there's nothing anybody can do. Just to hope and pray, there never comes a day when my mama's out of drinking with you. And we got her in the truck and we started driving home and mama said she had to go. Daddy pulled it over, we were standing on the shoulder while mama was putting on the show. And he started up a truck, mama stood up with her pants still around her knees. When we heard mama holler, if you give me a dollar, well, I'll let you take a peek at these. <laughs> Don't look now, your mama's got her boobs out showing everybody in town. Yeah. The faces turning red, we were wishing we were dead, there were people standing all around. Mama gets to drinking, there ain't much thinking, there's nothing anybody can do. <laughs> yeah, oh, Rodney. Rodney Carrington. Mm. It's literally just water. I uh... mouth it. Mouth it. <laughs> has, has that been throwing you guys off? Like I've been told that when I drink out of bottles, that I really like wrap my whole mouth around them or whatever. <laughs> and I'll be honest, I have no idea what people are talking about. <laughs> How we doing, fellas? Their new recipe that, frankly, didn't last long. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom show on the way. Hey, hi, this is Tom. Coming up next week in the Bob and Tom show, comedian firefighter Dave Dyer, Kostaki Economopoulos with our NFL report, comedians Al Jackson and Jeff Oskey, and 
Allie Breen with Sexy Time. My live-in girlfriend is really loud during sex. I love it, but apparently my neighbors don't. That's next week on The Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hey, this is Frank Caliendo, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Dear Bob and Tom. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you were talking about toenails last no, week. Oh, okay. no, no, no. A friend of mine is a dental hygienist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she cleans teeth for a living. She had a patient who came in the office in great pain. After examination, the dentist found the sore tooth swollen and infected. The procedure required a small incision to relieve the pressure. Toenail. There was a toenail in there. The dentist immediately requested no. a pair of surgical tweezers oh. and removed a large piece of toenail. Oh. How do they know it wasn't a fingernail? Because it says this patient said he often chewed his toenails. Oh, <laughs> Can I tell you something? Hey. My mother used to chew her toenails. No way. In front of me. Oh, God. Oh, boy. <laughs> Clothed or not? I would, Clothed. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is a visual. Well, Bob has lost oh, it over there. Hello, little best of right here. <laughs> right here. This is a uh, sick, sick wow. thing. Wow. <laughs> that would be, I, you know... Totally I even, naked. I think How did you, you even get, think of that? You would get, See anything you like, boy? I, think I remember you get that. Free psychiatry <laughs> for life. I think you would. I think you'd get a psychiatrist. I'm sorry. Oh your, your mother bit her toenails <laughs> naked in front of you as a child. Here. You have free psychiatry for life. Free Prozac. Whatever you want. program for that. <laughs> we are going to fix you. How about it, boy? <laughs> See anything you like? <laughs> I mean, Lord, you, help you, us, you, help us, Lord. You can imagine the twisting oh that would be involved. There's a lot of people who can't even do that. Okay. She was Show's very limber. <laughs> Show's over. Show's over. No, Everybody out. Essential morning radio. All day and all night. Some light bug, some light schmitz. Up for me. It's Bob and Tom Radio. Tom Radio. Jeff Rothband is our guest. Uh, Jeff is a fine, fine comedian. I um, actually had to do that once. What? Be a pallbearer. And that, oh, my that's God. That's heavy. Yes, that's a heavy, heavy job. Yeah. I actually had to go to a funeral, and I was asked to be a pallbearer, and I, uh, <laughs> always a pallbearer. <laughs> <laughs> Never the corpse. <laughs> I actually have a, a sexual fantasy associated with the earthquake. Go. All right. Woke well, chick up. Uh -huh. mm. uh, in my fantasy, I am making love to this woman. Yeah. And and then all of a sudden, she feels the earth move beneath her. Ah, yes. And then she rolls over on top of me and shields me from debris. <laughs> 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 Safety first, everybody. Safety first. Essential morning radio. All day and all night. You might as well shoot me when the beer runs out. Bob, information about that coming up. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hi. There's Jess Hooker. Hi. There's Josh Arnold. Hello there. He's at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Thank you. Uh, um, there was talk of a bonus edition of the Ace Cosby joke of the day, and I, I, uh, far be it from me. Uh, <laughs> Joke of the day. Hey, Chick. Yes, Ace. My cat and my pet octopus do not get along. Oh, oh. Let me get this straight. Your cat <laughs> and your pet octopus they do just... not get along. No, it all came to a head yesterday. Yeah? Cat walked in the room, saw the octopus, had eight guns. The cat said, you're one short. That was Ace Cosby's ah, yeah. joke of the day. Cat's going to survive Ace. Yeah. <laughs> it's a math joke. <laughs> nine lives, eight arms. Yeah. There eight guns. Go. I mean, yeah. Very much. Very, uh, time now to review uh, a little bit of uh, things going on in the world of what? Time now to review a little thing going on in the world called what? Today in history, September 22nd. What do you have, Tom? 1693. 16. Now mark down from 1700. Okay. It goes yeah. back a ways. <laughs> yes. Wow. Uh, the last folks were hanged for witchcraft during the Salem witch trials. Oh. You know, we happen to be in the presence of greatness, of course, but one of the things that make him great is that he, you have visited Salem, did you not? A couple times, A couple yeah. times, mm -hmm. yeah. And I, I, I try to go every few years. I want to go. It. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Um, so I've, I've seen some of the graves of those people. Yeah. Ooh. You know, that really happened. That brings the history alive. Yeah, wow. 
uh, on, a, on a much lighter note. I knew, I knew you'd be impressed. Care less. A lot of innocence. Mm. Yeah, really. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, these, are, these people would become the founding fathers. Really? We're hanging people. Comprehend. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, 1976, this show premiered, um, I don't know how to put this. 76? This show? No. The, <laughs> I was like, wait a second. The, the show in question. Oh, okay. a, a fair guess. Okay. Thank you. It feels that way. It's not the Bob and Tom show. Okay. Uh, Charlie's Angels. Yeah. Oh, yeah. After the original the, Angels. Yeah. After the Super Bowl? Is that when they did it? No, maybe not. No. Who was your favorite been. angel? Um, probably uh, Farrah, Farrah Fawcett. Really? Yeah, 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 she was like everybody's. She favorite. had too high maintenance. Right. Jacqueline yeah. Smith. Really? Did she was so pretty. She was. Mm -hmm. I did not have the poster. I was aware of the poster. Though. Um, it looked like a commercial for Breck shampoo. Yes, they it did. did. Good, they had good hair. Well, Tom, I always laugh. A lot of volume. Watch, but I watched that show in the beginning because. This hot chick's chasing you. Freeze! <laughs> yeah. That's what, uh, that's the kind of stuff Ace laughs at. It's very, okay. very Freeze. Freeze. I like the voices and, oh, today. Now, here's something interesting. Do you remember he? they had that speaker phone thing? Yes. Yeah. Yes, that was the the, the first iPhone uh, right there. Uh, remember the voice? John Forsyth, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, you never got to see him? No. Right. Uh, one of those uh, tricky Hello, things. angels. Good job this week. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> yeah, he's like their benefactor. How just... much are you making per call? Oh. Talk about what a, and what a great gig that would be if you're an actor. Yeah, yeah just be uh, on the phone. Yeah. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get dressed again. Mm -hmm. I'm going naked. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Baywatch debuted on this date on NBC in 1989. Running. They should always be running. <laughs> Slow motion. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, if you think that, you know, you're always going, oh, they're just watching TikTok all day long, watch Baywatch and Charlie's Angels and think, well, maybe, maybe TikTok's better. <laughs> maybe it's better for their brains. A Friends debuted on this <laughs> date in true. 1994. Wow. That's a lot of shows, yeah. And the West. This, this is the time of time year. Time of season, yeah. Uh -oh. yeah. Got a couple, uh, the no. West Wing. Ever? That was surprisingly, I enjoyed that very much. I just recently watched. Yeah, the illusion that. People in Washington are reasonable and intelligent. Uh, let's see. Uh, Foster's kind of. <laughs> okay. uh, 2004, Lost debuted on ABC. Mm -hmm. the Possibly the uh, worst worst regularly scheduled television show ever. Uh, dramatic presented. version of Gilligan's Island. Very good. <laughs> uh, it was a great show until they, they couldn't figure out the end. Yeah. Uh, according to you? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. No, it, it doesn't work. You according know, there you? was another show. There was another running of that show on network television with captions telling you what was going on. There was? Yes. In the same week, they'd run what? the show twice. Yes. Oh, I didn't know for, that. For the uninitiated, yes. Oh. No, for I, I watched both. Oh, did you? You did. You, know, you missed something. And like, mm. Oh, um, <laughs> Recap your show. Okay. Uh, happy birthday. Oh, and then you'd see those girls on the Lost Island going, freeze! <laughs> <Remember that? laughs> um, happy birthday is going out to Joan Jett and uh, Andrea Bocelli. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it right? Yeah. Sure. It's a, it's a form of pasta. No, no he's, he's a an good singer, singer, though. <laughs> is he the blind guy? guy? No, no. Yes, he's blind. No, he's blind. <laughs> okay. Is he fat? No, he's not fat at all. Hmm. Happy he's birthday, Scott Bayo. Chachi. Oh, man, and won. Charles, uh, in charge. He was never getting and a jerk. He never won an Emmy. In my life. Can you Is believe he a that? jerk? Oh. oh, giant jerk! What? Oh, Scott yeah. Bale? Yeah, yeah. He oh, sucks. God, yeah. I don't know about I that. Never met the man. I, a time down a review. No we learned on today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, did you hear? Scott Bale's not going to do our show now. Oh. I hope you're all happy. Remember Zapped. With Scott mm -hmm. Bayo? No. I do. <laughs> yeah. Zapped? Zapped? Was, that oh, yeah. a, was that a movie? It was, yeah. He had powers. He could zap girls' skirts up. And, uh, yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's... You know, you were way off of being yeah, a piece of my crap. Bad. <laughs> that's uh, not going to be get made anymore, is it now? Uh, Tom <laughs> has a... They have a... one called Zipped. <laughs> uh, Tom has a new control Unzips thing them. over there on his part of the room. He can play uh, jams in his cue speaker. He was enjoying Earth, Wind, and Fire. And... <laughs> South Pacific is what he was enjoying. Good for you, earlier. Tommy. I, I, I can prove it. Uh, the we don't have to. The Wienermobile is back. Yeah. Damn. What is that? A little South Pacific? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's really loud. Oh, Very loud. dramatic. Now Very watch. Loud. Watch. Oh. I'll turn this down and well, yeah. see it's coming out of the cue speaker. It's not supposed to do that. Say, can you hear that? Yeah, I can hear that. Yeah, it's much better it's than better there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the great, uh, the great <laughs> soundtrack to South Pacific. <laughs> Get you up in the morning. Oh, uh, and um, Christy has a go funny eye. Yeah, I'm I'm proud of it. 
Oh yeah, you, you got you got it. You got it fixed. I, got it fixed. I, I don't feel want think you look like Jean Paul Sartre no, in a wig. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who told you? Hey, you had it fixed. I Thank you, John. My doctor. Oh, oh really? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Dr. Marty Feldman. <laughs> <laughs> what, um? Walk this way. <laughs> uh, this is The Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to The Bob and Tom Show this morning. The show is also out there for you on our YouTube.